All right. Okay, 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 okay. So, I said, I said it was probably a good idea to like maybe play as a, play a different game for a bit so I don't get burnt out. But then, but then I went to sleep last night. I didn't have any alcohol and I actually got like a lot of rest and I woke up like really awake. Like I'm more, at no point in all of yesterday was I ever as awake as I am right now. Like yesterday, you know, yeah. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to do this whole sleeping thing more. It seems to help. So, um, that kind of revitalized my interest in maybe doing one more run. And I think maybe if we're gonna do one more EU4 run before checking out some of the other titles again for a while, maybe we make it one of the longer ones because I know I'll be like really annoyed by the end of it and ready for, ready for a change of pace. So of the ones that uh, are long, We've got like Anglophile, requires you to do the English mission tree, which requires you to play to the Enlightenment. We've got uh, one Faith. We've got the uh, Norway one, own all, all stuff like that. We've got the Third Way, eliminate all rival schools of Islam. This one I've been thinking about for a while now. I think it makes sense to do. Should I just? You can reorganize these. Should I start to like reorganize them? It kind of destroys my whole bottom achievey thing, but Like pairing them with the ones you know you could do together seems like a rational thing to do Like if you're gonna do third way it makes sense to do the third way and one faith I think you know because you're already like doing a lot of religious conversion and uh, Therefore probably gonna take like religious ideas focus on religious monuments that kind of crap. So kind of makes sense, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna move one faith down. One faith, one faith, one faith, one faith, one faith. You go down further. Next to where is it? How far down is it? There it is. Like one one it remembers this forever, right? I hope I hope I hope I hope hope. It's easier to just like drag them all the way to the bottom instead of trying to find them in the middle. I've already lost it again. I don't even know where they go. There, all the way to the bottom. There, it's bottom of Chibi. Simple. Go faster. Done. Come on. All right, this interface could be better. Bum, bum, bum. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna admit it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna admit it. I I'm leaning heavily right now towards third way one faith. We've never tried one faith before, honestly, um, and we've only tried third way uh, never, except for the three times that I did before. And and it's not that it's difficult. I don't think it's difficult at all, honestly. It's just that there was always like a patch that came out or a new game that came out or I got bored, or I was going through personal shit and stopped streaming for a period of time. And uh, then when I came back, I wanted to start something new, but fourth time's the charm? As an embody nation, as, start as an embody nation and eliminate all rival schools of Islam. So embody is one of the part of the Muslim religious group. That means you've got to convert all Sunni provinces and all Shia provinces and eliminate their schools while you stay as Ibadi. Just those two, right? Shia and Sunni? I don't think there's anything else, just those three, all together. So for example, we've we've attempted it as, we started it as Mazab. We had a campaign a long time ago called Mad Lab Mazab, something like that. And we had desert shithole and we like conquered all of North Africa. We were strong and then I got bored. We started as Oman and we did a like almost all, all the way into Persia. I think we were murdering the Mamluks and Ottomans and I got bored. I don't know if we've ever started as Pate. Those are the only three tags you can start as. Oman, Pate, and Mizab. You have to start as an Ibadi nation, and there are only three tags that are Ibadi. So those are the only options. They all have trash ID groups. Trash um, national ideas, I mean. 
And the Zap's got Morale of Armies plus 10, Naval Attrition minus 25, Naval Force Limit plus 25, Attrition for Enemies plus 1, Trade Efficiency plus 10, Caravan Trade Power plus 20%, Navy Tradition, Privateer Efficiency, Looting Speed plus 10, Cav Combat Ability plus 10, One Relationship Slot, Galley Combat Ability, ugh. Global Trade Power plus 10. Just, like, the only thing that's useful in there really is the Morale of Armies plus 10. <laughs> naval Force Limit plus 25 is okay. Oman, morale of navies, naval maintenance modifier minus 20. They're not even coastal! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, trade steering plus 33, shipbuilding time minus 10, naval, national sailors plus 10, tolerance of heathens plus 2, trade efficiency plus 10, light ship cost. Look at all this sailor shit. Oh my God. Naval leader maneuver plus 1, merchants plus 1, and blockade efficiency plus 33. Come on, blockade efficiency? When have you ever been in a war where you don't have enough ships to fully blockade them? Oh my god, they're so bad. This one doesn't even have morale of armies. Nothing. No, no like, actual land combat benefits at all. <laughs> and then Pate has light ship cost minus 20, trade range plus 25. Sailor Maintenance minus 10, Trade Efficiency plus 10, Naval Leader Maneuver plus 1, Tolerance of the True Faith plus 1, Via Cost minus 5, Mercenary Maintenance minus 15, Production Efficiency plus 10, Diplo Rep plus 1, Diplo Relations plus 1, and Global Trade Power plus 10. Again, no actual military combat advantages whatsoever. <laughs> so, yeah. Custom seems like sane option. Don't believe you can do Custom Nation achievements unless it specifically says Custom. I think these are the only ones that you're allowed to do as a custom nation. Starting as a custom nation, uh, starting as a custom nation, starting as a custom nation. There's three. Yeah. And then there's only uh, one achievement, I think, in the entire game you can do when you don't start in the year 1444, and that's the one that specifically requires you to uh, start... Start when... Someone will know what I'm talking about, right? It's the one where you start in, like, the year 1500 or something. The American Revolution, is that what it's called? American. 13 colonies. Hmm. We've done it, haven't we? Is that not what it's called? So she, maybe USA? Like, this should have everything in the list. Ah, here we go. Liber it's called Liberty or Death. Start as USA in the 1776 bookmark and own all of your cores while being at peace. And yeah, we've done that. We did that back in 2015. Wow, that was eight years ago. Holy crap. Wow. So, um... In terms of which of those three is the worst, I would say probably... Well, I don't know if I'm going to say it's the worst, but I think Mizab is probably the more challenging start, because you have two desert shitholes, and uh, you've got the Mamluks and the Ottomans to contest. And I also just kind of don't want to play in direct Europe again, because we've been playing so many tags in Europe. Aside from our Japan run, we've been we've been very Eurocentric for a while. So of the remaining two, I think Pate's more of a challenging start, probably, than Oman. But Oman's closer to India. India means trade companies. And, uh, we've done Oman before, but I kind of like the idea of, like, playing in India, because we haven't really played in India, you know? Aside from, like, the Austria run, where we had to go attack India for the Ostenders, haven't really messed around in India much. Pate is insanely fun. Why is Pate awesome? What's so special about Pate? Their ideas are probably the worst. At least Oman has, um... Blockade efficiency. <laughs> God, they're so bad. I mean, well, at least Pate starts coastal. I'll give him that. True, Pate does have the easiest access to gold mines. That's fair. If you go south, there's a lot of gold down here. There's also Kilwa gold. There's also gold up north. Pate does have the easiest overall access to gold. And I don't think I've played as Pate. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think we've only ever attempted third way with the other two tags. So I think we do a poll. 
We're definitely going to form another tag. We're not going to stay with these trash ideas. The thing is, you just, for the achievement, you have to start as Pate. Start as Ibadi. Stay your religion, but you can form new, net, new tags. And I do think that uh, the Sunni religious group is probably one of the better options for One Faith. There's two basic, like, schools of thought. Um, start as a Catholic colonizer, and that's one way to do One Faith, because then you just dominate the colonial game and make sure that all the colonial nations are Catholic. If you don't start as Catholic, then you have to contest the colonizers and try to kill them early so they don't colonize everything with the wrong religion. But, um... Sunni has some of the most powerful overall missionary strength because the thing about the Sunni religious group is that every province that is in that group has minus two local missionary strength for any other religion trying to convert it. The Sunni religious group provinces are the hardest to convert. And if you are that religious group, then you don't have to deal with that. Everything else is comparatively easier. They also have access to a monument, which I think I kept the page open for. Um... There's a monument that is specific to... No, we don't need to hear that again. Um, ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. This great mosque of Jin. If you are in the religious group, you can get 3% global missionary strength. You can get up to 3% global missionary strength from having your mysticism at 100. Which, comparatively, like... Orthodox can only get to 2% missionary strength global with Patriarch Authority. So, yeah, I think that Sunni group is fine for it. What was I going to do? We're going to do a poll. I'm going to make a poll. I think we decide between Pate and Oman. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Are we winning yet? The results of the poll are... Yes. Yes. 61%. New poll. Which tag? Pate. Oh my. Channel points enabled or no? Allow additional votes. You guys want to fight? Have a battle? Always? No? Yes? No? No No scam? Enabled. I'm enabling them. But I am going to give you guys five full minutes to vote. So I want to look around and stuff. And uh, actually, let's just see it in game and like check out some stats and stuff before we actually start the run. What achievements is this? So I'm thinking about doing One Faith and The Third Way. Which will be a involved long campaign. But that will be fine. By the time we're done, I will have had to deal with Colonial Nations again, Tariffs again, Late Game bullshit, and uh, I will be very ready to... Uh, shoot, I was hoping I could get the things up on the screen already. Bum, bum, bum. So yeah, the Dimmy. I love, I love the Sunni religious group, man. Is it called the Sunni? No, it's called the Muslim religious group. Sunni is one of the sects underneath the Muslis... M Muslis... Yeah, the Muslis group. Sounds good. The Dimmi are fantastic. I love the Dimmi. Ooh, also, I don't know if I've played with the Dimmi since they added more privileges. What are the new privileges that they get? Religious Unity plus 33. Promote Dimmi nobles automatically complete agenda. Um, I'm guessing that this is mutually exclusive with the clergy one? Yeah. Okay. You can't have both. Um, this is probably also mutually exclusive. Max promoted cultures plus one. Zero percent land ownership giving. What does it actually give if they've got land? Tolerance of heathens, maximum tolerance of heathens. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Leader slots. Tolerance of heathens. Nothing particularly amazing. Nothing like strong and new and whatever. Contribution from tax. So you can click a button that'll scale. The scale's based off what? Every owned heathen province gains increased unrest. 6.6 .6 ducats is probably just tied to, I'm guessing, scaled wealth. Let's see, 1.76, 6 point... How many clicks was it? What was it again? 6.66 divided by... 1.76. Hmm. Not sure where that number is coming from, then. Whatever. 
cool. They have no real specific special missions. What about Oman? Oman has prepare for war. How come Pate doesn't get that? It's not fair. Interesting. Okay, so this is a thing. There is a difference between their religions. Not their religions, their governments. So Pate is a Sultanate, which is a kingdom rank tribal monarchy. I think this was the way it was the last time we tried this, and I think this might be why we went with Oman. Because Oman has access to this. They're a theocracy. If I'm not mistaken. Feudal theocracy. And yeah, so they get an extra missionary, they get bonus missionary strength, and then also there's a lot of um bum, 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 bum. There is a lot of religious bonuses within the theocratic uh, government reforms, unsurprisingly, right? Where is the list of plus strength? Here. Okay, so look in here. So Guru's Wisdom can get you, you can get plus 3% missionary strength as a tier 4 theocracy, open public elections, government reform, and theocrats in power on tier 6. On tier 7, you can get an extra 1.5 with God and Man. Bum, 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 bum. So, I mean, if we decide to start as Pate, earlier access to gold and stuff, We'll be a little bit weaker in the beginning because we won't have these clicks, which we'll review real quick. But also, um, just because we start off as a tribal monarchy or whatever it's called doesn't mean we have to stay that. We could switch to theocracy later on, but I don't know if we would have access to this special type, feudal theocracy. What is the condition that makes this possible? What are the requirements for feudal theocracy? Feudal theocracy. Bum, 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 bum. State is ruled by a religious leader. It needs to be Muslim or Zoroastrian. Cannot have a thing. Unlocked with the following. You must have. Starting with this government type is these tags. Okay, so it looks like anyone can take it. Eventually, if you're a theocracy. Bum, 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 bum. Also, you do get access to Puppet of the Nobility, because it is still technically a monarchy. Interesting, it's still technically part of the monarchy group, actually. Wait, so that means we don't get access to the theocratic special reforms on like tier six and seven. All right. Okay, but what do these clicks do? Seize clerical holdings. Get construction cost minus 15 for five years for 50 Abin points. Potentially very strong. 50 Dipple points allows you to invite minorities. The Oman area gets invited minorities. Local dev cost minus 20 for five years. You also gain one base tax. Kind of strange that you gain base tax when you spend Dipple points, but... And I'm assuming that uh, it's just the one. So the capital gets one dev. And then the whole state gets dev cost minus 20. Bum, ba, bum. Invited minorities minus 20. AI very hard. No, we're definitely not going to do this run on very hard, by the way. That would be annoying. Sanction Holy War. This gives us a claim on all neighboring provinces currently owned by neutral or enemy heretics or heathens. For 50 military points, gain claims on all adjacent provinces to anything you own. We have core on all that, so yeah. Interesting. Okay. Has it been five minutes? Have you guys decided? 52 to 58% in favor of Pate. You don't like the clicks, huh? Granted, I didn't start talking about the clicks until like three minutes into the poll, but... You regret voting for Pate? I kind of like the idea of playing as something we haven't tried before, and then also it could be nice to have access to gold early. That special government stuff doesn't look as impressive to me anymore because I thought it was a theocracy. Oh, 
What are we doing this run? We're, we just did a poll. We are deciding on which tag to play as. Or the third way. And one faith. We're doing one faith. Finally. We're gonna do it. And you guys just decided 52% to 48% that we're gonna do Pate. But we are not playing on very hard because it's annoying. And because it'll make the run take even longer and probably make me never return to E4. Technically, it's bottom of Chibi. Chibi. Bottom of Chibi. I don't remember how I normally spell it. Bottom of Chibi. Pate. Is that how you spell it? Okay, is that how you pronounce it? This is potentially going to be a multi-week campaign. We got to play... We have to do the following. We have to do... One Faith. have all non-wasteland provinces in the world be our religion. All non-wasteland provinces. So everything has to be colonized and be our religion. That's a lot. And then also the third way. Start as an Abadi nation and eliminate all rival schools of Islam and do not convert to another religion. Is there anything else we can do in this run? Bum, bum, bum. Is Saruhan a formable, na uh, formable tag? Who the hell is Saruhan? Saruhan. Saruhan. Middle East region, Saruhan. Ottoman releasable. So no, we can't do it? Okay. Alright, that's fine. Can we become revolutionary France? Pate's not an end tag, so technically we could become France. <laughs> we wanted to. I mean, if we're gonna have to conquer the whole world and flip everything to our religion... Uh... Have the most development while owning no provinces with terrain other than desert or coastal. Nope, not gonna worry about that. Bum, bum. Could get... I don't like sand, just take desert until we get it. Yeah, but the problem with that is, um... Then we can't really take advantage of the gold mines and stuff. Whoops, didn't mean to close that. I think that we just do these two and be happy with these two. Okay. Does it annoy anyone else that this is exactly one pixel bigger? Because it does. It bothers me. I need to make it perfect. It's gonna be so difficult. Crap, I broke it. Okay, try again. Um, um, um. Just, just want to remind people that I have uh, ADD, and uh, in the morning, right after taking my meds, I'm a little bit more focused than otherwise. So this is why it's like, must be pixel perfect, must be perfect. Please be perfect. Damn it! Not even close. I'll try again. Like, here... Damn it! Whatever. Alright, I give up. Put them side by side. I don't think they'll both fit. Not without covering up UI elements. You guys like it better over here or over on this side? Right over here makes more sense. Here, we can put this one on the bottom, and then that way it indents a little bit, and then it, it's almost like I did it on purpose. Right? And then no one will notice the pixels. Right there. Pretty much perfect. Pretty, pretty close. Put it in the bottom right. Oh, that reminds me, I want to see if I still have my cat pictures that used to cycle. I don't think I do. I used to have the, like, rotating pictures of Pancake. And I don't know why I turned that off. That was cool. It was on an old stream. You notice it? Well, don't. <laughs> Just don't, okay? Drunk and the caffeinated. Thank you for your Twitch Prime. So, we are... We are here. We are this guy. We're Pate. Sorry, and then how do you pronounce it again? In chat, choose music for the playthrough. Um, 
I'm probably going to want to upload it to YouTube, so it wouldn't be possible to use, like, YouTube music, but... If we're going to do a One Faith run, it's definitely going to go on YouTube. Oh my God. Europe is! Thank you for gifting five subs. Happy uh, 29th day of September, where we still have, I believe, 25% discount to subscriptions. Ooh Sultan Abu Bakr I, Nab Han, age 29, 222. Of course he's a ship navigator, because this country's obsessed with boats for some reason. We have seven light ships, cool. Let's uh, protect trade in here on go home during war. Don't think we have to worry about pirates. Um, probably don't need transports either. We have... Let's look at all the stuff and things. One faith, boat faith. <laughs> we have Shah Shazade Muhammad bin Abi Bakr Nabhan, age 14 child. Only has two, one, one. That is only four pips. That's a negative five, Babby. Stucks to lose early prestige because it affects our first war if we try to do a war like for show strength or something early on. But I am definitely looking to kill that kid after we do our first war. But I don't want to give away... Uh, it's like 5% morale of armies to lose 50 prestige right now. Look at great projects, please. Which ones? Constantine Wolfrunner, thank you for gifting 25 subs. Happy 29th day of September. I'm going to keep saying that if it keeps making people gift stuff. 26 total gifted subs. Thank you so much, man. Wow. <laughs> wow. We have three merchants. Let's get them assigned. Can't reach very many nodes. Okay. The Kilwa Great Project. Okay. This one. Kilwa City. Merchant trade power plus four. Ship trade power plus 30. Neat. Where is this one that gives missionary strength? Somewhere there's a great project for the Muslim faith. Sorry, the... The... Yeah, the Muslim religious group that gives 3% increased missionary strength against heathens. It's in Central Africa. Okay. And also, we do benefit from Mecca, right? War score cost versus other religions. And then isn't there a province modifier? Uh, the province modifier is only active for the Christian group. I thought there was one for the Muslim group as well. Is it the Jerusalem one? Jerusalem province modifier? Promised land. Province owner needs to be... Jewish. No, you don't get that. Medina. Ah, thank you. See, I, I vaguely know how this game works. Medina. Mm, you sure? There's nothing here. A triggered modifier. Ah. Custodian of the Holy Cities. Mecca and Medina need to be owned by us. Just gives a missionary. Ah, oh, that's not as good as I remember. Again, Constantine, thank you for 25 gifted subs. That's very generous of you. Appreciate it, man. Okay, OPM. OPM starts with 33% crown land. We're definitely looking at monarch point generators. We have access to the Dimmy. We have 20% uh, reduced light ship cost, 25% trade range bonus. Let's do some of our clicks. We're going to hide our manpower, try to get a half price military guy so we can get to Miltech 4 faster. We're at a massive 8 hole dev. Wow, ooh wee. Let's take some loans from the burgers, even though they're tiny. So we can hide some more of man manpower. Um, we need to get down below 25%. Means I need to get enough money for one more trained troop to try to get the half-price guy from the burgers. Sorry, from the nobles. Bum, 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 bum. We can get six more ducats from the Dimmy Contribution Act. Might be worth just taking out three loans. We don't have any income, but... Getting half-price military advisor is also kind of a big deal. Also, no alcohol during this run because it's harem. <laughs> hmm. Alright, uh... We're gonna just... Immediately turn on military points to the Amirs. What's our government type again? We are considered tribal monarchy. Which is monarchy, but we don't have access to, like, Puppeth nobility. On what tier do we... Okay, we get to tier 6, we can form into an actual monarchy or into a republic, or into a theocracy. 
Hmm. We could become a horde. Form an advanced tribe. Government reform speed is not very fast. And we're technically tribal, not a monarchy, even though it's called... Even though it's called a tribal monarchy, it's not really a monarchy. Not a real monarchy. Alright, what clicks do we want? We'll take religious diplomats. We want our reform progress growth from the cler clergy. Reform progress growth, negative 0.5. Because why? <laughs> what? Why is it negative? It's funny. It won't be by the time we're done, but it's just kind of funny that it is. This lets us move towards legalism. We've got the legalism and piety sliders. At max legalism, we get tech costs minus 10, Dimi loyalty equal rim minus 10, national taxes plus 20, national manpower plus 20. And then when we need to convert crap, we can go toward mysticism for idea costs minus 10, morale of armies plus 10, 3% missionary strength, potentially, and it is a sliding scale. And then there's also the manpower click and the corruption click. I believe we can turn on a thing. Yes. So we can force our way toward one direction over the other if we want. Which direction makes more sense this stage of the game? Money, manpower, tech? Probably. Don't have anything to convert yet. The morale of armies would be nice, but we don't have any ideas yet. So we want to move towards legalism, which is positive or negative? I have no idea. Uh, positive. Negative 100 for mysticism, positive 100 for legalism. We would want this. Probably. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, um... Grant residence to local scholar. Enables a decision that allows you to change the scholar from one... with one from another school every 50 years. Interesting. A scholar of a religious school of choice becomes permanent resident of Pate, removing the diplomatic relations required to invite the scholar. This is part of the this click. We are that one. We follow Shafi, which automatically gives us an extra merchant. That's why we have three. But we can choose, once every 20 years, we can click a button for 50 admin points, and then it lasts for 20 years. We can get admin tech cost minus 5, aggressive expansion impact minus 10, Dev cost minus 10, yearly legitimacy plus 1, or shock damage received minus 10. Normally, we require 150 opinion and be an ally to someone of that religious group. It's worth noting that our province is Sunni, not Ibadi. Oh, you're right, it's wrong religion. That's kind of annoying. We'll probably want to fix that, eh? Religious unity at 0%? Yikes. Dab cost plus 100? Well, I'm glad I didn't try to bump stab. Okay, that kind of does motivate me to maybe turn on missionary strength early. Forced unity of faith. Makes sense. Try to get that done. Do we want to turn on religious culture early on as well for five crown land? Maybe. Alright, but what else do we want down here? So we got that. Right of donations to make the missionaries a lot cheaper is also useful. Lose five legitimacy and prestige to move toward five legalism. That's probably not good enough to click, but I do want to make this a thing. We definitely want supremacy over the crown. We want military points. We're going to go down to 0% crown land early. We want a free general. Probably still want to reserve two privilege slots for subjects and stuff. I do like court, granted court positions because we're going to kill our kid a lot. Um, neighbor raid. Manpower is not a guaranteed good for any states. By granting the emirs the means to control the subjugated forces, we can assure new gains for manpower of the Sultanate. Pate gains 0.1 years worth of manpower for every occupying, for occupying a hostile fort. This effect can only happen every five years per fort. Pillaging capitals will also give one year worth of manpower. One year of manpower is a minimum of 1,200. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. Expansion of is pretty rad. Yeah, for sure. Because of the fact that there's only like three of us. Um, I'm going to hold off on Amir decisions just yet. We could. You know what? Screw it. Kill this kid. This kid... Fall off a balcony. Just get out of here. You're dumb. 
And then let's turn this in for 25 prestige back. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we are not a plutocracy, but with all of our national ideas, like focusing on boats and crap, it might make sense to try to get more global trade power. It does cost crown land, though. Doo -doo. Further stacking light ship cost discount makes sense to me in our circumstance. We got to make sure we've got room for all the juicy privileges. We need this and we need this. They're just too good. We have granted out private sure. Uh, we have loans, so I can get a privilege slot back quite easily. I like this too, a lot. I want it. Bum, 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 bum. 51 titles from that. It's not very many. We could get some religious unity from this. We do want the Dimmy to have 60 influence, because you can get um, all tech costs minus 10 when they're loyal. This faith, this religion, this is one of the reasons I love this religious group so much. When you've got loyal Dimmy with 60 influence and 100% legalism, you can have minus 20% all tech cost, which is insane. We'll grant Dimmy liberties. We will... Get some religious unity. Kills with loyalty. They're only trending to 59, but... Mm. Lose five crown land to gain more loyalty equilibrium. Exempt from seize land. Hmm. All right, how are we looking right now? 61, 48, 44. I think I have to click sale titles. I need, I need the cash to... Uh, Hide the manpower. All right, let's go ahead and do this now. Do admin dev, get manpower to half, get a half price land maintenance modifier minus 10 guy. Repay our loans for a half price master of mint. Military points definitely matters more. Um, however, making the burgers happy also matters, but I think we want to run a military advisor first. So we're gonna do that one. Add our manpower, or get our manpower back, rather. Um, we have such a weird amount of crown land right now. Develop, develop community is good. Development of communities. So, the thing is, I'm not sure if we want the Dimmy to have more and more crown land over time. It's just five local dev costs, which saves us 2.5 monarch points per dev click, which is a number. But, um, the effect that you get from the Dimmy, like if we turned on Dimmy self-government, remember we just checked this earlier, it's like tolerance of heretics and heathens, and we're doing one faith, we want to convert everything, so I don't think I want them to have a large amount of crown land. I'd rather have either the emirs have a lot of crown land to make the increased levies click stronger, which I think we will turn on. Um... Or we would want the burgers to have a lot of crown land so that we have more impact from their click, you know? You can also turn on the 5% local dev cost with the clergy. You can do it with either. If I'm not mistaken. Granting residence to local scholar, not requiring us to have a thing, it would be nice. I don't like how low the loyalty equal rim is for the Ulima already, though. I maybe shouldn't have turned on clerical education with these. Scaled with influence. We could have turned it on with this one instead. I think I did mess up. I'm gonna pull back clerical education from here. Just gonna make him mad, but uh, we'll go down to 44. That's annoying. Maybe I'll fix it later. We're not going to be doing any development for a while, so I'm not too worried about getting that active yet. Do -do -do. Losing loyalty with two estates just to gain five. This is a net loss of overall loyalty equilibrium. Kind of sucks. I do need to find like another 5% loyalty equilibrium potentially with them. 
Unless we have a click we can do that makes them happy. This click makes them 20 happy at the cost of Ulima and Amir's. Also, it grants 15 more influence for 30 years. That's great, actually. And this automatically completes the agenda for the Demi. Okay, um, I am going to turn this on. Yeah, we already have 7.5% tech cost. Strong. I like it. Just piss off the Demi to gain some money. Honestly, for sure. Let's turn that on right now. They don't have to have 60 influence right this second, because we won't be taking tech for a while. Um, I'll leave two privileges there. With the Emirs, I still... Shoot, I didn't turn on the advisor cost discount with the mer with the burgers. Either. We're not going to have space for dipple points from them. I think we just run this now. We turn this on now as well. <laughs> Maybe I didn't need right of donations either. Oh well. Um... Bum, 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 bum. Those new religious tax. Promote Demi Nobles. Do... Turn the alert off for that one right now. I don't actually need to do this one right now, but I wanted their influence to go up. I think we uh, are just going to seize land right away. And I will still try to get down to having um, the thing. The thing. You know what I'm saying. The thing. Need more loyalty equilibrium with these guys. Alright, that should do it. 63... 49 is okay for now with the clergy, 62, and almost enough. But we can take care of the Dimmies' influence and loyalty with that, that decision click. We're able to convert our province now at 0.2%. I think converting provinces, doesn't that make the Dimmy mad? I think it might. We clearly don't want to have um, cavalry. We're very, very poor. All right, possible rivals. Malindi, Mombasa. Let's wait till next month. I do like money, in fact. Yes, I like money so much. I will just pay off these 4% loans already. I like to turn it on early so that I have the choice between Master of Mint guy or Manpower guy. That's like why I take the loans. I, I lose a little bit of inflation, but I think it's worth having access to it. Um, only one privilege slot left here, and we still need our Diplo Advisor cost discount. So I'm going to just turn that on. That means I can't get loans from the burgers anymore, and it's difficult to do stuff. But eventually we might revoke Patronage of the Arts. They already have so much influence, though. Wow. Fine. All right, and we can probably afford 0.4 gold a month for a while. Let's get that guy going, which is nice. Unpaused at 55 minutes in. Hey, we were trying to decide what to do. Don't give me a hard time, Jimmy. Jimmy. We do not have a trade efficiency guy. We do have a yearly inflation guy for our early game combo if we want. We're not going to run more advisors right now. And, uh... Does anyone want to be friends with us? Marahan, negative 17. Let's... See. This guy already hates us. Doesn't want our land, though. we roll marriages with this faith? Yes, we can. We can roll marry Ajaran, who is neutral. Well, let's try to make it... <laughs> but do you like money? I do! I do. I do like it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I'm awake. I'm awake. Are you awake? I'm awake. Oof, okay. I'm awake. Are you awake? I'm awake. Switch over to establish communities, once the merchant's here. And then I guess we're going to improve with, um... Might as well try to improve with, uh, Kilwa a little bit. Maybe, maybe not, actually. Maybe we should just fabricate on him and kill him. We are allowed to rival our ally. We're gonna hold off till Janu uh, December 11th. We have four troops. You have five troops with no allies. This guy, Mombasa, also allied Anjuran, who I'm basically trying to ally. We can maybe, maybe jump on Melindi. We ended up with a 3-2-4-1 general. We've got no defensive terrain. Um, instead of hiring regulars, we could just hire our free company. 
There's also a 4322 general available. We could overbuild the force limit by a bit. Um, um, we're only 0.2 dev away from one more force limit. Because I guess we have grain. Can't click on my damn provinces, man. Look, I'm look, look where I'm clicking. How is this not selecting the province? I don't get it. Weird. Uh, we don't have grain. We just have eight dev. Okay. <laughs> Leroy, we go. I just realized. Are you able to use the conversion trading policy in trade nodes? Yes, we are. However, uh, let's just read about it. Uh, propagate religion. Our pious merchant will work towards spreading the one true faith in this node. You can convert provinces of a trade node. Christian, Muslim, and Jewish provinces are excluded. So, you can't use it to convert Sunni to Ibadi. But, we can convert, like, the Hindus and other stuff. And yeah, you need, you need a lot of control in the node to make it work. Alright, we're gonna try to secure an alliance here. He doesn't want to ally us. He's not friendly with us yet. We'll set him past, uh, try to set him to friendly. We will want to improve with him. Any friend? No friend. I think we just Leroy. Bum 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 bum. Can't rival Mombasa because then we will be unable to... Unable to do the thing. Four days. Don't get a friend. I want my early show strength. Go. He's got one more troop than us. Can we win anyway? Maybe. Maybe. Let's find out. Bum, 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 bum. If we need to, I will hire that Merc company. Oh lord, he coming. We risk a 9% chance that the rebels spawn here. Bum, 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 bum. If I leave, we can sortie from garrison once he gets into our capital. Don't fight rebels. Don't don't you dare fight rebels. Don't you dare. 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 God damn it. Oh, of course. But of course. Of course. This is just practice. This is just fine. It's fine. We'll go here. Of course. Of course. I should have taken a save. Oh well. We'll be fine. We'll just occupy this province and he'll just, like, let us do that. And then, uh, it'll be fine. Get our fleet out there. At least we'll be blockading and making a little bit of cash. You can hire mercs out of occupied provinces, so... Unless I'm mistaken. That is a... Seven, that's a negative one, Babby. Seven and one is eight. Nice marriage, though. This is why I probably should not have yeeted that kid. Need more morale. Sultan Abu Bakr is strict. Bum, bum, bum. Cannot be hired within the borders of your country. Cannot be hired within the borders of your country. Oh. So... Zanj Company can be recruited here, it says, but then I can't? Oh, it's because we don't have the cash? No, we do. Is it because this origin country is their country? I would guess. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Shock damage received minus 10 is pretty strong. Okay, we're training another troop here. We're going to have to just do this, I think. They're going to maybe pick off the one stack. We get access through Ajaran. Um, we'll come back from Melindy for a sec, get access through Ajaran. Let's um, also ask for access from, like, Mombasa. Okay, he doesn't want us to be here. That makes sense. He'll be there on the 25th. We can be gone on the 28th, which is not fast enough. We're going to have to fight for... 12 days, hopefully we don't get stack wiped, and then retreat to over here. That gives us hopefully one month to recover some morale and the Merc stack. If I try to leave, um, 
But we're going to have to fight him no matter what, right? So just don't do badly, please. Also, I have a bad embargo. Revoke embargo. On you. And back to... Can't improve till next month. Okay, don't roll poorly. We rolled a two into a zero into a five versus their nine. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. We're totally fine. And then we rolled a zero. Zeros in both shock phases. Perfect. That, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, well, we didn't get stack wiped. And we're treating the wrong way. This is this is fine. This is this is fine. We're going to consolidate because we don't be, want to be that far over the force limit. Why, why are we going down there instead of to our own country? Is, is my question. This is fine. We don't need morale. We do have to block him from training more troops, though. He'll be there on the 14th. We're going to be there on the 14th. I don't know who calculates first. Well, let's find out. Fate. Line 447. Mombasa. Line 410. I can't even remember long enough. 410 versus 447. He calculates before us, so he is going to cross the river. Bum, bum, bum. That troop won't be out till June, though. I think we just have to chill here, get some more morale. We're losing two gold a month, and that's not a good. Not, that's not good. We don't want to be doing that. Probably don't need the transports to be part of this and save a little bit of cash. I want to keep improving with you so that you'll hopefully ally us eventually. I'm about nine reasons away. This army can't get, it can't engage the natives while it's shattered to retreating, but I doubt Kilwa gives me access, so we've got to go through multiple provinces to uh, to try to get home. And I'm feeling like there's a pretty good chance we're going to end up fighting rebels again. You know? He's not Mombasa, he's Melindi. Oh. Malindi is line 411, so same thing. We're still after him. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. If we leave and invite him in, we can have the defender's advantage behind the river. We do have more maneuver than him, and we can also use the sortie from Garrison. Well, I think we will do that. Bum, 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 bum. These guys arrive on the 6th of June, okay. I think we are sorteeing here for military points. Might not need it, but I'm going to do it just to make sure that we don't get our butts kicked. Arriving on the 26th of June. Let's go one more day. Win! Kill! Win! Fight and win! Don't lose! Of course, we arrived and fight re uh, rebels. And we got stack wiped. I think we've probably taken more overall casualties from the natives than we have the enemy. Pretty sure. Can't consolidate that army to keep it home. Let's have this guy stay behind. This guy can stay behind. We're going to go run that army down, hopefully before the monthly tick. We can be there on the 29th. Cool, that should be an overrun. Unless he's going to here, but we can cancel access. Come back from Melindy. Cancel. You can't go there. You can't go there, sir. You can't leave. 31st of August. Lose eight ducats to gain this is pretty... Okay, yeah. Did we get him? Okay, your turn to fight rebels, you bastard. Um, let's get another occupation in. He will hopefully be retreating quite far away. Let's um, go back to spying on you. I'm gonna block that recruitment with our one infantry. How many ships does he have? He's got eight. They're still out there. He is down to two troops. Um, this guy off. Are we winning, son? I think we're winning. I think we did it. What happened to the Frankfurt-Jerusalem campaign? What? 
That was so long ago. That was so long ago. Uh, let's get a claim on Mombasa. I want to shift consolidate the mercs because I don't want to reinforce because we're kind of poor. Our missionary is still costing us a fair bit of money as well. Missionary is only at 12%. 1.2% per month is quite slow. We could speed it up by exploiting dev, but that would feel bad. We also have a lot of unrest. It is what it is. Unconditionally surrender to me, bro. Come on, you know you wanna. We should probably start spying on... Uh, Kilwa as well. I wanna keep my opportunities and options open. There we go. We did it. We won. We're the best. We're the bestest mensch. Maybe we can capture a ship. We have to be careful about loot, because we need money. They are reinforcing. Okay, we're not going to try to fight his navy if they're reinforcing. Because I don't want to hire an admiral. And uh, even though it's going to give us a long truce, we're going to maybe... What we should do, actually, is sit on the war long enough that M Mombasa declares. So that we can reset the truce with this clay. Yeah, we start with the wrong religion in our capital. Sucks, man. He has, uh, no army. So, Mombasa has a claim. Does desire the land. He should declare soon. I guess we're gonna stall for a little bit. Protect trade in the snow to go home during war. This does cost me a blockade. And war exhaustion and stuff from being blockaded. Um... Um, bum, bum. Doesn't tell us what it will cost. Melindy might get an ally. Uh, but you know what? Actually, I think we just want to get out. I think we want to get out of this war. Show strength for 300 monarch points so that we can get to Miltech 4 ahead of our neighbors. Seems like the best call. Um, we're poor as shit, but give it. Poor as shit. This seems fine. Okay, we did it. And we have three Splendor per month. Starting next month. Ooh -wee. Bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. It's all part of the plan. And I'm gonna get a claim on that province. We can keep spying on him for a bit. I wanna start spying on Kilba. Alliance to Ajran possible? Still no, negative eight reasons. Eight naval strength minus eight neutral attitude. We can still not flip him to friendly because we don't have, still don't have fifty opinion. Neighboring heretic religion minus forty. Damn, he was mad. Anyone else want to be a friend? Mombasa. All right. So instead of rivaling Mombasa, we could play nice with him. But. Ajran's got 5k troops with a subject with 4k. Mombasa's got 8k. If I play nice with Mombasa, then I don't really, like, have anything I can do. And I think I think if we just, like, ignore Mombasa, kill what attacks Mombasa, fights Ajran, we come in and pick up the, the pieces. So, I don't want to rival him yet, because it makes it harder to get our alliance to Ajran. But... Would be nice to have more rivals so we can actually get our power projection above 50. But I have no options other than these two. I've got to pick one. I will rival Mombasa after we ally after our alliance with Ajran's in place, though. So, crush fingers. Also, I don't think I remembered to embargo him while we were at war. Awesome. Cool. Good, good, good. We can do royal marriage, yeah. We already have the royal marriage to Ajran. That's why we're close. Close, 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 close. He flips friendly. We have the alliance right now. Negative eight reasons. I want to be at our full force limit, but our army is quite pricey. Point four gold per month. We can we can stall for a little bit. We weren't wasting money on the missionary. 
That's only 0 0.17. What were the clicks that I turned off? Lose money to make the clergy loyal. Gain loyalty with the Dimmy. Get money from the Dimmy for Dimmy loyalty. Provinces get exploited community for 10 years, giving local unrest plus two. Every owned heathen province. Our capital is not heathen, it is heretic. But we shouldn't get any penalty for it. Thinking maybe once we get the Ulima to... You know what? What if we... Spend the five gold. Give them some cash. Now I can revoke something without pissing them off. Let's go ahead and revoke the reform progress growth from them. Give it instead to the... Dimmy. That opens up space with the Ulima to get more missionary strength for Crownland. I think I need this. Like, the conversion's so slow right now. 1.2% per month with with the missionary active on thing on. And I don't have the money to, hold, to afford a uh, missionary strength advisor, so... Yeah, I think I need it. The Crownland is fine. It will increase unrest, because this does affect tolerance of he heretics and heathens, but... We also get more tax income and stuff. Literally doubles our missionary strength to 2.2. Bum bum bum. We're gonna hold off till 1450 till we do dev clicks, but we definitely want to do dev clicks. Are you friendly yet? A diplo rep guy would give us five reasons. Bum, 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 bum. Negative one, Babby. Hmm. Mombasa declared war upon Melindy, as expected. That will reset our 15 year truce. Which he is likely going to full annex him. Debate over the philosophy of Ibn Arabi. Move toward legalism. I like legalism. i make tech cheaper. Now have more national tax bonifier. Is that correct? I think that's not correct yet. Need a monthly tick, probably. There we go, 3.3 .3 and 3.4. Proposal of the Ulima. Two base tax dev. Make Mombasa like us to get a half price level one diplomats. Build to 11 ships. We have 10. I have room for two more. Get morale of navies, yearly navy tradition, and national sailors. This would be great, but I don't have any money. And I can't get money easily. Get some money from the Dimmy. Is that enough to hire a light ship? Our light ships only cost 12 gold. Wow. Perhaps we can sell our transports right now. That might work. I will come back from... Melindy. Ajran, do you want my Boats? He wants three fewer, he says. Wait, 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 think, 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 think for a second, Roomba. Selling my ships so that I have enough money to make more ships so that I can have a larger navy than Melinda. Melindy. That's smart. That's smart. Smart. Yeah, I mean, obviously we want to turn into our transports into light ships, but that, that plan won't work. All right, we will click this button. And we will build a mark. 700 days? Dude. Because we've got unrest, religious unity, active missionary intolerance. Do, do, do. 667 if I suppress rebels. Can't bring the unrest down further without turning off the missionary. Do, 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 do. All right, I think that this naval, Navy tradition and morale of navies thing might actually be relevant. Bum, bum, bum. I could also just take this. The friend Melindy, I could just improve with him without actually rivaling him or doing anything. I don't know. I'm gonna do this one actually. We'll build the boat even if it takes for freaking ever. And we're so poor, but I think I'm actually gonna lower army maintenance slider on our one troop that's not a merc. Try to save cash. I'm hoping still to get a second claim on this province before he full annexes. Just have to get to 25.
All right, and away we go. I'm sad that our peepee's not bigger. Mm -hmm. Ajran, become friendly, please. You have 69 opinions, sir. Become friendly. You have negative prestige, so we can't do a scornful insult. How's that fort doing? It's doing well. Diseases. Nice. Negative two. Second claim on Malindi. Here. Start spying on Mr. Kilwa. Wait, perhaps instead of protecting trade, what if we privateer our own node? Can we get above 50? Um, he doesn't have a lot of control of the node, so that doesn't really work. I could subsidize... Mombasa. That would give... Power projection. Two power projection for 0.1 monies. Would you pay? Would you pay monies? Let's get like... 13 takes us above it quite well and it'll stay there. A half gold a month for three monarch points is a, is a steal, right? I think so. I don't want to fire this guy. We're so desperate for money right now. Can't really afford to get rid of the mercs. Bum, bum, bum. I think even though I don't want to, I have to fire this guy. Don't you just need to wait until his ship gets sunk? Well, it wants us to have a larger fleet than Mombasa. Oh, it's Melindy. I keep getting Melindy and Mombasa mixed up. Yeah, I mean, if his fleet gets forced out and uh, Mombasa fights it, that could work. But we want more light ships anyway. They're super cheap. They only cost us 12 gold instead of 20. And they make us money, so... So we got that going for us, which is nice. The Worldly Ulima. Gain corruption or lose corruption. Hey, look, money! It's only four ducats, but it is money. Four whole ducats. Thanks, Ulima. They're at negative... They're at 14% chance in their siege. Are you friendly yet, Ajaran? You have two reasons. Still neutral. The second claim on you. Yep, and there's Kilk saying, if you sell your transports, you'll need more ships. Uh -huh. It's another third faith. These, uh, well, we've never attempted third faith, like third, like one way third faith, third, third way, one faith. We've always really only set out to do the third way, but yeah, my plan is to do this achievement and then be so thoroughly sick of the game that we play other games for a while. It'll be fine. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Do, 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 do. We are very close to actually having an ally. And he is about to get killed. I don't know what happens if the tag ceases to exist. He still has all 11 of his ships. Um, presumably they are... Uh, somewhere. How do you only have 65 war score? Malindi occupied. Oh shit. Malindi actually has a superior navy. He's the one blockading. But he will still get full annexed soon, right? There we go, we did it. Yeah, full annexation did did get us get us the mission. Cool. Ally? Cool. Let's come back from Mombasa for a sec. Get our alliance to Ajaran. And now we just chill. And we can sell these ships as well. We chill waiting for Kilwa to murder our neighbor, and then we jump on him. Bum bum. Mombasa has rivaled us, unsurprising. We will return the favor. 
and cancel the subsidies, obviously. Um, keep improving with you. Improve with Kilwa. Actually, I need to sell the ships. We need some money. Well, we form another nation, of course. This nation has trash idea groups. Just trash. Sorry, trash ideas is what I meant to say. Only Ajran is likely to buy ships, and even then, not many. Um, um, well, two. Monahan, do you want to buy our third transport? Nice. We have money! Oh my god, we have money. We can afford to drill our one troop. We can afford to potentially rehire that military advisor. But I think I'd rather get a second troop out first. Okay, cool. We're off to a start. Moogles? Sure, I don't know. We have a lot of time on our hands to decide. Our projection is only at 40. If we go to Privateer here, we can get to 41, which is not enough. We don't have positive prestige, so I can't do a scornful insult, sadly. And the only other valid rival is our ally now, so if we do that, we will be sad. Zanzibar has a good amount of trade power, but no gold mine. We want to claim the gold mine, probably. The sooner we get a gold mine, the better. More claims is actually fine. Keeps fine. As soon as we do have positive prestige, I want to insult somebody. We are at 13% crown land. Uh, in 49, I might... Like, in 1450, we might do a few dev clicks, get to 15% crown land, sell titles one more time, turn on a 5% missionary... 5% uh, crown land to click, and try to go to 0% to trigger state statutory rights. I think... Yeah, we never played as Pete. I think this is the first time we've played as Pete. We got that guy going for us, which is nice. Max out relations with Ajaran. Um, siege ability against Mombasa will be useful for when Kilwa decides to kill him. Right now, Kilwa's going after Makua. We could rent out Kanatiri, our four stack of mercs. They have to be, you know, I can't drill them. They can't do much. And if they get stack wiped, I'm kind of okay with it. Yo, what do you want them? I'd rather run to the winner. He says no. He has no need. Makua, if you're going to cease to exist... Shame we don't have maps for everything over there. This guy would give us money if we had a black flagged army. So we're going to black flag our army. and try to cheese out some some money from the OPMs that BJ is killing. Damn, he just killed him. Well, let's make sure the mercs are black flaggable for the next opportunity that I see. Touch also just died. Anyone else getting killed? No? Anybody? Bueller? Ushasha and Hassler are fighting. Might be an opportunity. All right, let's cancel access. Return to our black flaggable province. And try to get some monies. It's, it'd be better if I could rent out to somebody that's definitely going to die. Because then we get the army back for sure. And I'm not sure if Hasa or Mombasa... Sorry, Hasha... Stupid M words. Mushasha... Versus Hasa. I don't know if they're going to actually full annex each other. He doesn't want all the land. He doesn't want all the land. That guy's got a level 3 fort. Barely enough troops through the siege. But I need money. And of course they both have a deficit while having loans. But of course. Akilu. You give monies? 
<gasps> Six monies. It's so much harder to rent out Kratiri right now. Um, ooh. Okay, so this is interesting. Notice how it changed the tooltip changed. Not possible to rent Konatiri due to space period. For whatever reason, you have to not be having a deficit for two months, not one. So this is like the intermediate tooltip. Next month, we might be allowed to rent to Makua. So I guess we're gonna just chill for a sec and see if they are possible. Mushashashashasha. Please, hire troops. Hire my troops. For zero monies! Quantity of troops negative 20. 30 ducats of debt. Oh, boo. Well, I mean, we could go rent out... I mean, it's 6k troops for Kilwa. Honestly, maybe we should just to go harass Kilwa. Fuck it. Let's go. We're going. We're going for free. Take this, Kilwa. I don't have military access here. All black flagged, we can walk around though. And maybe get unblack flagged down there. Let's go around to here to here, through Kilwa, through here. Maybe do something. This could be suicidal, but it's a merc stack. And if they die, I can replace it with regulars. We have no manpower recovery really right now, and we can't drill our force limit, so I'm kinda willing to risk it. Did they just accidentally path through the wrong fucking province? I swear to god. I clicked here, and they must have tried to go through Lamu. Ugh, now we have to deal with this. No, we don't. We're gonna get black flagged again. That's really dumb, though. Time is loot. <laughs> hey, please don't be stupid. I'm going to tell you every single province that you have to walk through. Go. Stay out of our province. Please. Please! Do you need to own the provinces yourself, or is it enough if they are just the right religion? Start as a body nation, eliminate all rival schools, have all non-wasteland land provinces in the world be of your religion. Subjects will be fine. They just need to be converted. We, I guess, are never going to have prestige, sadly. Aqua has 2k troops. He only has 6k troops. Honestly, like, if we're in defensive terrain, this this general, 4322 strict drill master, um, 2.5% bonus discipline, he might actually be capable of beating their army. Especially, uh, oh, never mind, he died. Well, I guess we uh, aren't doing that anymore. Well, okay. I didn't even get any money out of it. And rent to Akunlu again. Potentially, but they don't want to pay us because of the whole quantity of troops. Remember, you have to have six troops in a criteria stack to avoid the quantity of troops penalty. It's one of the reasons why I hate the fact that merc stacks come in groups of four and that you can't merge mercs with regulars. The mercs are finicky, you know, when trying to do country stuff. Otherwise, he'd be willing to pay us... We'd have 20 more reasons. Um, um, we could basically have 4.7 maintenance on this army. Would be nice. You've got rebels. Would you rent out troops? No. Depends on the type of rebels. They're separatists, they'll hire. Okay, 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 here? Here. Who's dying? Holanda, Thu, and Madurai. 28% and 57%. Holanda, Thu is the war leader. This one falls first. We can maybe rent out to both of them. You won't give monies because quantity of troops. Of course. We can get 12 monies! I found someone who will give me monies. Give the monies, thank you. Ooh-wee. With enough effort, it will work. Gain opinion or get a CB. No thanks. Our PP is still small.
We have a new ship. Um, I will queue up two more. Got our second infantry. Bum, 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 bum. Didn't didn't know you could connect to your mercs too. Yeah. In fact, there's a weird thing you can do where, because the free company has such a massive discount to monthly maintenance, the minus seventy percent from free company compared to other merc companies, you can rent out the free company with your own general, or. Uh, it, it's easier to rent out basically because the the AI doesn't have to have as much money up front. You don't get paid as much because it's based. The amount you get paid is based on the, uh, you know, the mercs, merc maintenance. But I don't think Kilwa is actually going to be strong enough to attack Mombasa at the current rate. He has to like go after Mutapa and stuff a bit first, I guess. We could actually go over there and uh, we can reach. You know, we can we can walk over there. If we wanted to, but by the time we get there, the war is probably over. Almost at Miltech four. Wish we had the money to hire to keep that advisor. Missionary is at 89%. Wow. Ooh, sha sha That's another thing. Asa still exists. Um. Boom, we got caught. Damn it, we got caught and then immediately down ticked from 25 to 24, and I need 25 to get the claim. Damn it. Sucks. Let's top off relations still with Ajaran. Actually, let's start currying favors with him and stuff. We're not going to earn favors very quickly, but he is our only friend in the whole world. Looks like Kill was starting to get ready for a possible war. He has cores to do. He did go up to nine troops from six, so maybe. Could also be because he sees unrest and wants to have an army to deal with the rebels. Sir. Sir, the rebels. They're here. Okay, we want the Dimmy to have 60 influence and 60 loyalty before we take any tech. Hopefully we can sync up the tech taking click with this and get discounts on all of the tech. There's competition for innovativeness here. There is not here, and there is here. I do want innovativeness, if possible, so... I think I'm gonna do the click now and just hope that we can go fast enough here. I don't think we generate enough points, but let's do the click. This does make the Ulema mad, but what are they gonna do? Rebel? We don't get to automatically complete the Dimmy agenda because I didn't have one, but I, st I still think using it for the purposes of tech cost minus 10 is reasonable. Legalism is only at 2%. Um, I think we're... Are we going to have enough? We generate 6 per month. 526 minus 509. 3 months. Yeah, we're barely going to get the innovative in school. What is our flag supposed to be? Uh, black thing? That automatically turned off that thing because it can't be active if you have 100% religious unity. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. I did want this. Inviting a scholar no longer costs administrative power. Oh, I see. It's two separate things. Hmm. Bum. If we could. Wait. All right, we, we expect to have enough by October 1450. We have to take it. Hmm. 526 minus 60 minus 447. If I can get the minus 10... Oh, damn, it's only minus 5%. Oh, sorry. Damn. We want the dev cost guy first, if we can. Coming up in 1450. So uh, that would require us to be friendly and allied to someone with this. The admin point cost is less significant, I think, than the this one. 
Scholar of uh, religious school of choice becomes the permanent resident, removing the diplomatic relation required. Correct me if I'm wrong, does this give you free reign to choose any? Or can you still only... You see how there's like swords on two of them? Like, there's like three religious schools on the Shia side, I think, and three on the Sunni side. And I can't remember. We're Shafi, which I think is... I don't know. I think overall the Maliki is the strongest one. The body can have both. Is that what it is? Okay. Well, it's very unlikely in our current position in the world that we're going to be able to get an alliance to somebody. So I think I'm going to turn on this thing and hope that it allows me to choose. Oh, interesting. It even lets you choose... Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. There are actually seven schools. I, I didn't realize. Shafi is merchants. Oh, huh. yeah, Maliki. Um, addicted to death. Yeah, I mean, this is how we get out of the problem, right? Dev cost minus 10, develop gold mines, do that kind of thing. We do have to pay the points to hire him right now, unless we can open up another Ulima slot, but that's seeming unlikely. Um, so don't let me forget to turn on that click before we start doing dev pushing. This song is cool. Nice. Move towards legalism. Um, um, um. Replace resident scholar. Oh, sick. We have a click that lets us move towards mysticism. I wonder if there's a cooldown on this. Once every 20 years. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. 66 days. Mm -hmm. Expect to have this in March of 1450. We're like four months shy from getting the innovativeness from Admin Tech. Maybe we get a lucky legalism event. I'm gonna wait until the very last second here to see if someone in our tech group takes tech for a 5% dev cost, 5% tech cost discount. Same one that we're seeing up here. We need every point we can get, potentially. Come on, neighbors. Take the tech. No one's going to take the tech? Fine, we'll take the tech. It's over 9,000! The four innovativeness does make this come down a little bit. Now we're only one month off. We expect to have it in 1450. 462. No. 487 minus 462. And we're gaining five per month. In five months. We're in the eighth month. If we focus admin, I think we can do it. And I think you know what idea group we're going to go for first, right? We will have enough in December, according to this. And there's no one taking Edma Diplotech. We're going to actually maybe get innovativeness on all of them. This guy is no longer rented out because they died. And we get money from someone else now. I need money. Money? Money. Fabian, two more months! A Roomba Vortex is 118 months. Dude, tier one, 118 months. That's a long time, man. Religious, obviously. I mean, eventually, but but come on. We want to dev push gold mines. What's the best idea group that you can take to, to dev gold mines? And don't say infrastructure. Because you know that's not right. Um. Bum. Can't spy until January. We are allowed to justify trade conflict on him. We have four favors, 3.6 per month. I am weird and proud, Twitch Prime. Thank you. If we attacked Kilwa, they've got 17k troops. We have 6k troops, and we're on text 4. He has 18 ships, and his subject has 7 ships, so we can't really do a naval thing. We are building more boats. Slowly. I thought you didn't like gold mines. That is a... mis... 
misappropriation or mis misconstruction, misconstruction of my comments about gold mines. Gold mines are very good. It's just that they're not. I have never had a campaign that goes past like the first fifty, like the first fifty years of the game, where gold stays the predominant source of income. It's good early, but then you end up always still making more money from trade and production. And gold has downsides with inflation, and it can collapse. It will collapse. It will eventually collapse. So it's a short-term power move to to dev up a gold mine and spike your power now so that you can kill your neighbors. But then you need to solidify your position in the world by building the economy properly for the long term. All right, so we're going to do Innovativeness plus four. Cool, we're so innovative. Pate, go us. If we can get another four Innovativeness, I will take it. But otherwise, we're hoping for the institution to spawn in one month. We can start doing some development clicks here. We have a center of trade. It's only level one right now. Can't dev it until it's at. Uh, can't upgrade it until it's at ten, and we have no money, of course. We can get some money. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna do a regular click here. So build a mosque. Get to twenty-five percent trade power in our node. We're at twelve. Hire an administrative advisor agenda. Hmm. Build a fort. These are all sort of difficult right now. We don't have access to a half price guy. I would like to have one, but I don't have the income for it. The Ulima are the ones that are the most mad, so I kind of want to maybe make them happy sooner. We'll build the church. Sail title. I'm still going to have rebels because they're so pissed. And did the institution spawn is a big a big deal to us. Looks like it did spawn in Saluzo. We're good to dev. It's only 31 here. No prosperity, but we do have dev costs turned on. Burgers are loyal. We've got our we've got our scholar click that I need to do once we get to 50 admin points. Once we have 50 admin 49 admin points, we will start dev pushing. Bum, 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 bum. Scholar. I just said that! Aren't you listening? And I think we are going to go for estate statutory rights. I do have one privilege slot open for the Amirs, and we are... Well, we're technically a tribe. I don't know which one... Which, which one gets the estate statutory rights when you are a tribe? I would assume the nobles, but eh? Sucks that we can't use uh, Puppeteer the nobility. You think it is still nobles? No one? No, it has to go to someone. The nobles are maybe the easiest for us to revoke stuff from, so I think we do want to go for it. 30% crown land. Type of monarchy? It says monarchy in the first one, but it's really a tribe. Tribal monarchy. Tribe is like the bigger part of it. Bum, bum, bum. We've maxed out relations. Mercantilism is tight. Trade efficiency plus 10%. Institution spread is irrelevant to us because we're not going to get spread rate. Trade efficiency does make us a little bit of money, but this probably makes us more money. And it, we're losing the trade power in the Gulf of Aden, not in Kilwa. Our relations with this guy. Lose 0.25 local goods produced, Sag. Uh, ask you for military access again. Next month, we can dev. There is competition for the innovativeness here. We do have the Dimmy loyal still, so I think we're going to take tech before worrying about dev pushing too much. But I do want this. Guess we are going to spy on kill us more. It was hostile. Okay, uh Diplotech, please. Healer. 
only make four points a month, and yet we got innovativeness in all three categories. That's kind of insane, to be honest. Okay, uh, for our dev clicks, we are going to be building a church, which does incentivize admin clicks. I do want to go for an administrative idea group first, but we need the strength and economy. So I think we're going to prioritize admin clicks first to keep the overall monarch point cost to do the development clicks low in the admin category. And then we'll finish it with like some mill clicks. And we want to do right now, um, I need to get to 15% crown land. I need to do eight dev clicks all together right now. And we probably will gain some land force limit from that as well. At least one. Okay, that's a pretty good overall dev cost right now. 26 out of 50. We got cloth, farmlands, Maliki scholars, burgers. Hopefully the burgers are going to stay loyal. They trend to 62, good. Gain a shock pip, nice. Anyone I can rent out Knoteri to to make money? I'm poor. Need money. Need money. Mamluks are about to kill somebody. At war with Shamar. He doesn't want all of Shamar though. He doesn't want any of Makarai. Let us try it. Why not? Money is money. 11 money. Or 24 money. 24 money. My money. Thank you very much. I like money. Bum, bum, bum. How do the dev costs scale? Stream buffer again. Delad, uh, refresh the stream and make sure that it's not doing the thing where it's playing back at 1.03x playback. Uh, sometimes when your internet's not like super good or if there are uh, packets being lost, you'll fall behind and then Twitch will try to catch you up by having the playback rate go to 1.03x and that can cause further issues with streaming, uh, with uh, buffering. How do the dev costs scale? Uh, so right now we have no penalties until you get to 10 development and then it starts to go up, I believe, by 1% per dev above 10, including 10. So from 10 to 19. Once you're at 20 dev, it's, I think, 2% per dev. It's on the wiki, but it just, it scales not linearly completely, but linearly between 10 point breakpoints. How do you check that? Um, I have a Chrome extension called uh, Video Speed Controller, and that lets me see how fast the videos are playing. I don't actually know how to do it without that app, though. Sorry. We do have enough money we could afford a level 1 military advisor again. But now I'm kind of looking at maybe wanting to run a admin guy. I think we do run the inflation reduction guy. It's been a long time since I've talked about this. Uh, if you only have the money to run one advisor, and you had to choose between any of the advisors, this is one of the most valuable advisors you can get for Monarch Point generation at level 1, because... If you were to click the Reduce Inflation button, we do have a pretty good discount to it now, but 38 admin points every um, 0.1 inflation reduction, so every 20 years, he is reducing it by 2. So that means that you're generating essentially an extra, for us, 38 points every 240 months. So he makes like 1.16 monarch points a month instead of 1, basically. That's budget. That's good. The half price military guy would be the higher here for me if we were still trying to get to tech 4. Since we're at tech 4, I don't value the military point generation as much. I value the admin point generation so that we can... The thing is, in the early game, like, admin dev does the most. See how we're going to get monthly income 0.09? If we were to do diplo dev, oh, we can't see what it would do because I don't actually have enough points. God, stupid fucking tooltips, man. Why don't they just tell you same numbers all the time. Um, give me a couple months and I'll tell you. Long term, we want the cloth because cloth will scale better and it affects trade income as well as goods produced. But in the short term, especially if we're going to build a church, we do get more actual benefit out of base tax clicks. 
We can start doing some of them now. We'll do one. We'll take it to 10. I don't think we can afford to do a level 2 center of trade for the 5% dev cost discount anytime soon. It's too much. It's 202 gold right now. Makarai is pieced out. Shamar is about to lose. And we got our troops back. He actually did full annex. Cool. That was easy money. More money? I have money? This makes me think of Kandatinopol. You guys remember that campaign? Kandatinopol? Really summons at war. Come on, derps. Who's fighting? No one? Why are none of you fighting? Kill each other. Ajam is in a war. I don't see Ajam. Bum, bum, bum. He's fighting Biapas, Karaman, Ghazi. Bengal is in a war. I can't see him. Uh, that is in Japan. Manipur. I can't see you either. The Timurids are in a war. Alright. I swear I just checked them and they weren't in a war. Well, I guess they are. I just can't see them. That's why. They don't want troops. And we can't rent to his subjects. Damn. No opportunities, man. So our Merc Infantry are currently costing 0.3 gold a month. Our Regulars only cost 0.2 gold a month. And if we got to 6 Regulars, we'd have a much easier time trying to rent out Kratieri. So I'm kind of incentivized soon, I think, to consider getting rid of the Mercs, even though they have a, you know, pretty decent General, and the General's free, and that kind of thing. Um, I'm actually going to cancel the boat so we can get the infantry out first. Um, he's a 4-3-2-2. Two, two. We have a 3-3-4-1. Three, three, um, um. There is still the development of communities click that we could turn on. Every owned heathen province with a temple or cathedral. That doesn't actually apply to our capital, because we've converted it. Um, um, um. If we had room with a clergy, we could get their temple thing. Of course, we also have to build the temple first. In fact, maybe I should be saving up money to build the temple now. I think I should. We might have enough with the sale of titles click, though. Um... I kind of need the Ulima to be at 40% loyalty before I can do this safely. Although the size of the Rebellion would be quite small. Maybe we just fight the Rebels. With our Mercs. That might make more sense. Do it now. Alright, we'll get one recovery tick. And then we will sell titles. Um... I want to revoke anything from these guys. One privilege slot is kind of reserved for estate statutory rights. I'd like to have space to be able to turn on strong duchies if we end up getting subjects. Um, we could revoke the uh, officer rights, the thing that lets us get a free general. Maybe Strong Duchies is too far away. Worry about. Hey, okay, kill rebels. Gain army tradition? Question mark? We did. Nice. Thanks for training us. We appreciate it. And we'll turn around and build a church. We can get more dev cost or uh, construction cost discounts if we wait for Renaissance, but that's forever away. I think I'm gonna just do it now. And also, this should switch to. If you have really low crown land, this is supposed to be 1% crown land instead of bonus base tax. I thought it was when you were below 15, but it didn't flip, so I don't know. We have unrest again. Of course we do. Bum, bam, bum. Did I click the scholar? Yep. Yep, that's why we are down to that many percents. 
And I was wrong about the scaling. We're at 10 dev and it actually, at, at 10 dev, it's already plus 3%. But and now it should be at plus 6%. The scaling was not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. We can do diplo dev here as well. Uh, let's try to get to 15 dev now. I want to get to exactly 10% crown land. Need another five clicks still. Next, we'll do expand infrastructure. Bum, bum, bum. We're not going to get innovativeness from this next round of tech, almost for sure. But that's okay. That will be just fine. We can get another claim on Kilwa. We want the provinces that have centers of trade, I think. We do have 10 favors with Ajaran. Um, seven monies, 900 soldiers. Ajran plus his subject is 9k troops. Is that enough to beat Kilwa? Almost definitely. Time to kill Kilwa? Um, and if we want to, while we're in that war, we could theoretically isolate Mombasa and get another show strength on him. Or just take play. Did I turn off the missionary edict in the state? Yes, we're on dev cost. Of course I did, Creed. You, you should trust me when I when I do these things, you know? I know how to play sometimes. This is also assuming that Ajran would join. He will join. Okay, um, let's jump on it. Kilwa has not taken tech. Got a four military skill guy. He might have tech soon. We have two decent generals. We have eight, seven force limits, soon to be eight, maybe, if I keep devving throughout the war. Let's say attach and attach. I bet Ajran gets his military access through him. We likely will not have naval superiority, so I'm gonna pull the navy back next month. Forty for the next dev click. Um, but we need to expand infrastructure first. I need forty-nine ebon points. Okay. I want them fully hidden. Assuming that we don't have naval superiority, I might not be able to get onto Zanzibar. We've got 20 ships for our ally, plus 9 ships for us. That's 29 versus 19 and 7. Boom, boom. Ajran's got two heavies. Kilwa has only one heavy. I think we have naval superiority. We can make the war goal Zanzibar, and we'll get the ticking war score a little bit faster. Okay, this is fine. What could possibly go wrong? We can also support rebels in our Mombasa rival for power projection. How much would it cost? 64 power projection or 56 power projection for that much monies. We know from recent experience that that's lying and you can actually only get 50 out of it, but one way of looking at it is this lasts for five years, that's 60 months. So would you spend 80 gold or 180, 180 monarch points if it's going to put you firmly above? I don't have the gold right now, but if I did, you know. Okay. He does have unrest, question mark? No, he's raised the autonomy through the roof, and therefore, no. It's actually a really good exchange. Yeah, when you're small like this, it can actually make sense. Otherwise... You know, we'll see. Question is, do we try to secure the war with Kilwa first, then double back to betray Mombasa, or do we just go fight Mombasa now to get it done so that I can get 300 monarch points or whatever, potentially? If I declare right now, we can probably get our power projection up to 50. We get 10 for the war deck. Um, I, I still can't insult him.
But maybe if we privateer in our node on go home during war. And we declare the war. No. Doesn't work either. Too much risk. Is it too much risk? We have we have seven troops with a 3341, a 433, 4322. Mombasa's got 7k troops, and we have tech 4 advantage. We do have negative prestige, no golden era. Nothing in our national ideas that gives us combat ability, but... I suppose if Killa came through while we're fighting Mombasa, it would be too dangerous. So I'm gonna just back off, try to get these two guys to join and attach to our armies. And we'll focus on fighting Killa first for a while. But I do want to have Spine Arc on Mombasa. I also like positive prestige so we can insult him. And we're being blockaded. Not by the heavy, though. Just by lights. A lot of lights. Sokolov is not in the war, so it's actually just six lights versus our nine lights. He only has one heavy. I think we poke out for 12 days, try to chip down their, their navy. His heavy is coming out. This might be a mistake. We'll see. We'll go till the 16th and retreat. comes the 11k. Unfortunately, we do have access through Mombasa. It'd be better if we didn't, because then Kilwa would go around and walk through all the natives. So, thanks a lot, Ajran. Maybe we can expand infrastructure. Let's continue to do dev here. But I can get more crown land. We need to get above 10%. Two more clicks. Richard's almost done. I feel like the AI is not doing anything. I'm actually going to reload the save. He should be moving at least. Or training troops. Ashran has... He's got money, he's got income, he's got 7 force limit and only 5 troops. Like, why aren't you doing anything, you know? Kind of weird. Yeah, we're doing one faith. In theory. But there's no way we can save this run, right? Right, Hudor? How much would you be willing to pay to get a large PP? Is that a question about EU4 or real life? I'm I'm thinking we're probably going to talk about it as we get to the point where we're actually strong enough to consider formables, but someone mentioned earlier the Mughals. Mughals have a lot of modifiers. Um, we'll want to look and see if there's like any specific tag that's formable with missions or something that gives benefits to missionary strength and crap like that, but the Mughals are pretty good for World Conquest, so... Never gonna forget that. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Somalia? Are we allowed to see what Somalia is already or no? No. Nice. Innovative ideas will give us ID cost minus five. Ooh wee. Bum, bum, bum. Denounce sect practices. Move towards legalism. Yeah, our king sucks. He's bad. He is a two two two. He doesn't get any of the fun clicks. Sir. 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 Ajran. Go siege stuff. Mogadishu, go do something. Alright, he's moving. Alright, all right. he woke up. He woke up. He woke up. We're good. He's awake. Come do stuff. Move, move. Get your booty going. Look, there's an army here. If he just sits here and watches our capital get sieged out, I'm gonna get pretty mad. Fly is 35. We don't want to run defensiveness, so we don't have to. I want to keep the dev thing going, but... But for battle. Hopefully they'll go in first. They are attaching? They are attaching. Alright, kill. Our troops are deploying three in the center for us, and then we're on the edges. Interesting. So... 
It's not using our Merc Infantry. Our Merc Infantry are flanking <laughs> instead of using the Mercs in the front. What happened to the whole Mercs not always, always deploy in the center thing? Huh? That was a thing for a while. Apparently not anymore. Please cancel access through this guy. I want to be the one that has military access so that I can... Uh, we could stack wipe that right now if, if Ajran would cancel the military access request. But he's dumb and he won't. He doesn't know how to play the game properly. We lost our general. It's okay, we still have the Merc General. Bum, bum, bum. We are losing money fast because of this blockade. It would be certainly nice if he could, you know, go ahead and help out. I think we're going to beeline for the Kilwa gold mine because I want to be the one to control it. And, uh... Alright, so... Oh, that... is interesting. Must be because our general was speeding them up. We need to attach as well so we sync up our arrivals. Up, up, um. Move towards legalism. We completed our agenda. We have to poke out again and try to get this navy to stop blockading us so we can get onto the war goal of Zanzibar. In 3% army professionalism, wow. Actually kind of a lot. We're spying on him, we are. Go back to Curry Favor. 0.52 gold a month. They declared for Kilwa, not Zanzibar. I I was considering declaring for Kilwa if we couldn't get naval superiority, because I knew I wouldn't be able to cross the strait, but then I looked at the navies and saw that we actually have two heavies to their one. So I decided to make the war goal this, because we're actually gonna it's minor, but the ticking war score is going to start growing by 0.4 per month as soon as the occupation's done, and it takes longer to occupy Kilwa than it does to take Zanzibar. So that way we effectively earn more ticking war score quicker. Um, there is a slight argument to make a Kilwa the war goal instead, because the cost to take the province you've declared, declared a claim on is different. That makes any sense, but whatever. Okay, he is earning participation. We're not going to get a lot of cash out of this, but we don't have to take cash. We could just murder everyone. Lose stab. But I don't want to lose stab or diplo points. I want them all. I need them all. And my points. Damn. We need two more clicks right now. Um. I lied, I need three clicks. Okay. Um, I guess we go negative stab. There's a potential that I can reset stab with rebels, so... And we don't have any prosperity to protect. What's the monument in Kilwa City? It is the Kilwa City. Merchant trade power plus four, ship trade power plus 30%. Now, I did notice that the war score cost for Kilwa is less than 100%. And he has a subject. So we could full annex Kilwa. In this war. And get a free subject. So Fala has claims on Mutapa. We could immediately attack Mutapa. I think that the, the period of time where we're weak is about to rapidly end. Please don't kill any of my boats. They're precious to me. He killed one of my boats! You son of a bitch! But I need them. Ajran arrived late. Jerk. Do, 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 do. 
I'm going to tell them to stop attaching so that they will leave and hopefully we get some more participation. Looks like uh, Ajaran is not willing to leave. I'm going to tell him to go here. Maybe we can get him to leave. He has maintained his blockade. Okay, we're making one ducat a month now. Let's let's see. I, I actually do think we want to hire this land maintenance guy now. Um, I'd love to get a trade efficiency guy. Nice. We can run yearly inflation plus trade efficiency combo. That might have actually been even more important. Um, potentially. Applesauce! Also Artemis! New Artemis who dis! We're doing we're doing a crazy run. I mean this run's gonna take a long time, man. <laughs> it's your turn, Kilwa. You can see his whole army. Is his subject loyal? Yes. Administrative ideas of somebody. Cool. Our renaissance progress is only at 26%. We're not really trying to dev the renaissance right now. We're just trying to not be poor as shit and actually have some more force limit. While also having a little bit of crown land. Considering that we could full annex this guy, I'm thinking maybe we don't want to see accessory rights now. Because we're not going to be at... Uh, One province. You come to try to fight me. Fight you in real life. Fight some rebels. Fight some natives. No. Any second. We could scorch. We have three and three. We have six troops versus eight. We do not have a tech advantage anymore. I can't leave behind a troop. Because... It's a Merc stack, and I do not want to give up control of it. How did you get control of this shit? Damn it, Ajran. Don't tell me you want that land, too. Okay, he doesn't. He'll transfer it, then. He's being a bastard. That means I don't have to stay here. But, ah, uh, shit. Now he might do the thing where he breaks the siege to help the fight. And then we lose all of our 12 siege status because he's an idiot. I think we Scorch. Build a 50% Siege, of course. Um, 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 two of a kind. Get a Natural Scientist half price guy or don't. I will don't. We got the Kilwa. Don't attach to me. Don't attach to me. Don't attach to me. No, that's not true. Do attach to me. I lied. We're gonna go kill that army together. I guess we should maybe help this naval battle. Oof. This fight looks like it's not going great. Rolling zeros? There's a nine, though. Cool. Okay, um, we'll be the defender here. We have room for one more troop. We'll get another infantry when I have money, which is not now. I don't have any money. I never have any money. Why do I never have any money? Give money. Old mine is making us literally no ducats because occupied, devastated, intolerance. Damn. We're really intolerant, aren't we? Negative three. Minus 30% goods produced in intolerant provinces. Full annexing is going to be a big, big amount of work. Our religious unity will go back down to nothing. The autonomy in these two provinces is quite high. We'll have a shit ton of land to convert, and those heretic penalties are huge. Do, 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 do. But clay, though. They have two vassals. 
I have one Vassals. Unless you're suggesting you want to release this one instead. I have two subjects. We still have the privilege slot open to do strong duchies, so that's reasonable. Keep the coastline. Bum, 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 Yeah, I think we are going to push for full annexation, but we need to occupy some more stuff. Or he's willing to agree. Also, I need to get started on our war with uh, Mombasa. If we're going to do that. Otherwise, we're, we're at 80. We're going to get the uh, over pizza soon. Tell him to stop attaching to us, and we're going to... Consider regrouping our army. He's still on tech 3, 7k troops. Merchant guilds are not loyal. We're reinforcing quite slowly here, right? 50%. This army has a general, so they're reinforcing at 70%. 4 from the mercs, 3 from our regulars, that's 7. 7k troops versus his 7k troops with a tech advantage. Still feels pretty good. Our king is an idiot. Cool. We do get a new general from the nobles soon. In about a year. Maybe he'll be good. Maybe take so follow the province for the gold mine. Turning him into a one province miner subject. The issue is the intolerance. It's Sunni. Sunni is still difficult for us to convert. Because of the local missionary strength minus two. I'm worried about the amount of provinces we're going to have to convert. It's already going to be difficult. I think in 10 years, we just integrate Sofala, and we get the gold mine then. That way, for those 10 years, he has a 0% autonomy gold mine, making 2.6 ducats. He's going to be a useful subject to us, versus us having the land and having a useless province. This subject will be able to pay for all of our forts that we occupy, field three or four troops, you know, be useful. Play, though. Okay, yeah, that, that's a reasonable counterpoint. I'll give you that, sure. But... But, what about not clay? Gimme. I think we have to take out a loan and train one more troop to ensure that this war goes well. Um, I'm gonna wait for the army to be up there so we can suppress troubles. Let's speed up the uh, thing. But clay! But clay. He is not ready to agree yet, right? As much as I would like to just full annex this guy as well. I think we are probably looking at a show strength. Quick occupation of his level 1 fort. Second show strength. Get our power projection firmly above 50. 300 monarch points so that we can continue deving and potentially getting the institution. And, uh... One drawback to that is that we won't be able to break the alliance between Mombasa and Ajran, but we'll cross that bridge later. You know? He also has 6k troops, 3k troops for Sofala. First government reform. Before war end, make Mombasa vassal. Now, okay, so <laughs> Jimmy, now you want three vassals? Is that the idea? You want to do Mombasa, Kilwa, Mombasa, Sofala, and this dude? Ugh. National manpower plus that versus this. I think we want the manpower. Yes, Clay. Uh, three subjects when you are weak like we are is a lot harder to keep under control than two. Two is very easy, especially with strong duchies. Three is like crazy. Four is practically impossible. Um, plus it comes at the cost of not being able to get our power projection above 50. If we full annex Mombasa and then release him, we'll get some power projection for the conquest, but I don't get the 300 monarch points and I don't get the humiliated rival that will stack with the other humiliate, you know? Six vassals. Alright, Jimmy, you're you're kind of being useless. He's allied a new friend, he's got a doll. 
Okay, that sort of changes things. Dang. He saw my plans and decided against it. See, Jimmy, we should have attacked Mombasa first. You guys were chickens and wanted to go fight Kilwa instead. Alright, we're going to settle for... full annexation. When he's ready to agree, which is not yet. I guess that means we are going down to here, and can I cancel that troop again? No. Alright, we'll, we'll let it finish. Three, 60 favors, 50 for break alliance, 10 for the join war. Just get to 50 favors. Three, you want me to ally Adal while we're at war against Kilwa? Hurry to 60 favors and ask them to break their alliance? I don't understand. Confused. I'm gonna have to stop reading chat soon, Jimmy. You guys are, you're just, you're being, you're being all over. Too much. We do have favors with Azran. I will probably ask him for something after this. Sometimes Jimmy's a bit much. One owned province with a marketplace, 200 gold, and a level 2 center of trade. Light ship, fraction at least 40%, fleet equal to 20, navy at 80% of force limit. Okay. Development grown by at least 30. Gives us morale of armies. Slave. Make slaves. Here, attach to me again. Let's force them to go smash their army into this 8.2 stack again. They're not wanting to do it, apparently. Here. Be here and attach to us. Thank you. Bum, 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 bum. The numbers are actually quite close. They'll be there the 2nd of July. We'll be there on June. This is the province that I'm off that I uh, scorched. So we'll be the defender behind a river. We probably win quite handily. This guy can come join. They decided against it, apparently. <laughs> yeah, fight more rebels. We're going to have these mercs shift consolidate because I don't want to pay for reinforcement costs because we're about to take more loans. You are at negative 28 reasons still. We are struggling here. What's going on? How did we lose? That's illegal. I bet it's because Ajran's still on tech 3, and they had a lot of the troops, and Kilwa is on tech 4. That and we have low prestige, so low morale of armies. Probably. Uh, yeah, Kilwa's got us beat on morale, and... Ajran beaten by over one morale, so that's that's where it happened. Also, our war exhaustion is at 5.7. So that's cool. Fun. 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 But we're at 84 war score, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Seven ships with a heavy. Kilwa thinks he's making gains. What a weird place to retreat to. Why, why do they retreat to uncolonized land instead of retreating back to our capital? You know? Doesn't make any sense to me. Bum, bum, bum. I love how your troops always retreat to fuck no I, 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 Thank you! Thank you, Captain Alex. I agree. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. How much you want to bet when we get there? When we get there, there's there's going to be a 9% chance that they rebel. And they'll, they will rebel. You can even get stacked right by Native Uprising, if if you retreat within the same monthly tick. Kinda worried about this infantry. Let's have them go to Pate, and hopefully not get done. Please no rebels. Fucking see, because there's four separate armies arriving. Every army that arrives in an uncolonized province has that 9% chance. So basically, 100% chance, is the way I see it. <laughs> and natives, stupid natives. 
I think we go into carpet siege mode and just occupy as much down here as we can and maybe we'll be good. We can group up and unoccupy that for him for a little bit. I'm hoping to win this without having to do another battle. So I'm just going to keep shift consolidating. Try to avoid more loans. New general, please. Yes. Please be good. Do we need dev cost to scout right now? Maybe? Our general is... Slightly better than our previous guy, at least. Um, I'm not thinking I'm actually doing any more dev right this second. We, we do need to dev the institution, but we're already kind of at the point where I kind of want to maybe just take tech. And then start doing the ID group, and then we'll get caught up. We'll backfill the tech. I think we might be done doing dev. For a bit. Do that. Turn off our dev cost edict, switch to trade power. Not to mention, we are going to full annex and have a bunch of land at core. We are arriving way too fast. And I gotta consider buying down war exhaustion. Okay, don't attach and don't attach to us. We will leave this army here. This army can go to here. I'm gonna tell each of these guys to try to take one. Hopefully they'll listen and carpet siege a bit. We still have the ticking war score. Trying to get his capital back. Okay. Uh, eighty seven war score. Boom, boom. He's not going to want to agree until. Pilwa is making gains goes away, and we have a little bit more ticking war score. 4.4. Really close. Really close. 93 war score. We're basically three reasons away right now. We could blockade Sofala's capital, that might do it. Ninety-nine. All right, we got it. All right, we're doing the full annex play. I think we get the subject for free. It costs us sixty-four dipple points. It is what it is. If play, we do have to deal with his rebels still. Um, I have a mission fulfilled. I will click. Bum, bum, bum. Dealing with his rebels might actually be quite difficult. Come to think of it, we're gonna release. Makawa. We're going to turn on Strong Duchies. Ooh. Maybe an opportunity to, like, get some money and do the ivory click. But, whatever. You saw our Beeg now. Trying to get Beeg. Get War Exhaustion down and get some stuff. Fight the Rebels to gain prestige, which is useful for killing babies and stuff. Build a marketplace to gain crown land. Crown land is very good. We do want to build a marketplace eventually, and we do want the burgers to be happy, so... Fine with that. Our land force summit is now 11. We've got 10 unrest. Seizure of estate land, plus 6. 0.7, some war exhaustion. We are... Much bigger, but also... Uh, the, uh... The problem, the problems are going to get worse before they get better. Let's just say that. We got uh, 0.02 monthly income from our gold mine because it's 20% devastated and we have 20.8 intolerance and, you know, under siege and stuff. And honestly, maybe I should have fought those ar that army one more time because 
They are bigger than I can handle it right this second. We are going to divert trade from these guys because they have huge truces with us and I need their income. Last month, Sofala made 0.1 from trade. Makua has no listed income. But... That's okay. We can do royal marriages to them. Keep one of them loyal. They don't need to embargo rivals yet. So Fala is in our node, yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, so how do we deal with that 10 stack quickly? And two infantry down here. One up here. We still have access through Mombasa, even though he's our rival. Our PP is not big because we couldn't do the thing. We could rival Ajuran now. And that does isolate Mombasa from Adal. But we'd have to wait five years on the truce. Hmm. As far as coring goes... 21 months. It is mostly part of our culture group, right? All of it, I think. Twenty-one, twenty-one, nineteen. The ones we have claims on are slightly faster. Feels nasty, but I think we have to buy down war exhaustion. Yeah, at least once. And then get started on the cores. Alright. Doing what we can. We do have 34% vassal tax income, actually, so... We might be better off not even collecting trade from Sofala, and... Well, no, he's given us 49 trade income. Never mind. 49 trade power, rather. I think we do maybe placate him, though. Who needs prestige, right? Let's do our Scornful Insult. And then placate. And then try to improve relations with these guys to keep them loyal. It's so nice having actual good vassal tax income. Multiplier. Compared to, like, republics and stuff. 34% is crazy. Like, that's... That's like what we were making in net profit the whole campaign so far, you know? Pay off our loans. We almost have enough we could hire, hire the level... Uh, the trade efficiency guy. I'm gonna have to quickly deal with these. Before they occupy a whole bunch of shit. Subject is disloyal, of course. Favors. 20 favors with you. Give us 1,100 manpower. I don't need the manpower. He has cancelled my military access through his land. No, he has not. Okay, I need to get an army in that province before he can, so that I can connect our armies without having to go through the uncolonized lands. By having at least one troop there, he's not allowed to revoke it from me. Good. Okay, we're just waiting on some troop training. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, switch to improve relations. Try to make our derps like us. Make sure that we're still spying on. Supporting rebels actually is still an option to get power projection up. 69.5 bunnies, nice. We can sell titles soon. Crownland will go to the shitter, but. Not only do we have these 11k troops to deal with, we also have another 11k and another potential 8k in the capital. If I don't get this to go away. They are going to Lindy. They're going to teleport to Lindy, blocking me from getting past them to take down Kilwa. If I had one more troop up here, we could come from behind on Occupy Kilwa. Gonna take them how long? Wait, are they ever gonna move? Um, 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 um. 
says that they're teleporting and will be there in August of 56. I think they're being affected by the Scorched Earth penalty. Why not boost stab? Because we are overextended and we have negative uh, like 49.1% penalty from low religious unity. You son of a bitch, how did you do that? You're not allowed to do that. You're literally not allowed to do that. Literally. You cheat. You cheat, AI. You cheat. Fine, we'll have to black flag the army down. But they're cheating. They are cheating. Clearly, right? You can. I can see it. You're, they're cheating. For real. As the player, you definitely can't do that. Oh well, whatever. AI gonna AI. Okay, kill ones are at 20% progress. We're gonna get unblack flagged with that army there. Altogether, I've got 11k troops versus their 11k troops. They should have tech 4 still, because we have tech 4, and they are our rebels. But I think we need to go fight that army. I need that gold mine back, and I need to get the core started. As soon as this army can get down, I think I'm going to take the fight. You think they can't do it during war? Um, no, I'm pretty sure it's still for the, it's, it says we cannot cancel military access, uh, while having land, having troops in our subject's land, in someone's lands, so. So Fala has become disloyal because, here, just keep your trade, honestly. I think we make more money overall. Well, let's find out. We were making 2.1 monies from trade. With Sofala Loyal, it's 0.39. So if this goes down by more than 0.39, it's better for us to divert trade. 2.1 becomes... way less. Give trade. Give both, preferably, but, you know. Okay, 18th, and... We could be there on the... Ah, oh God, syncing all this up is a pain. You guys attack for that. We're going to be there on the second. Good. Close enough. Okay. Um, improving with both. I bet what happened, why why he became disloyal. Did Sofala break the marriage? He did. That's why he suddenly became disloyal. He spiked above 50%, broke the royal marriage, and then... He might do it again, actually, because we're going to lose a bunch of troops here. Kill! Kill the rebels, sir. Uh, please kill. Please don't lose. Good. Want to slow down the Merc reinforcement because they're expensive. Beyond that, these guys are on Suppress. So we can try to reduce the speed that these the second rebellion builds up. Up off Relations. Uh, we are earning favors with these guys. We could also curry favors with them. We'll follow the more important ones, so I think I will do curry favor. Assuming that we um, actually get a decent amount out of it. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know if that's really worth it, but whatever. The diplomat was just refreshing relations with Algeron, that's all. This is one gold a month. Due to reinforcement. Let's slow down our reinforcement again. I don't want to take any more loans. They're bad. Especially with negative stab. 2% on our cores. We can start the last core of Kilwa. Do you have war exhaustion still? I'd like to buy that down still a bit. We're behind on Dipple points now. I think we just start the core. I hate paying penalties when I don't have to, but what can you do? 
Big juicy sandwich. Time for a sandwich? What? We can sell titles and lose a whole bunch of money by having super low crown land. When we're overextended like this and we've got high autonomy, being below 10% crown land is really bad. But if I have more money, I can support rebels in Mombasa and get power projection above 50. <laughs> We would lose 10 and then cease up to 7. I would have to do a bunch of dev clicks still. And we do still kind of want to do development in the capital. Maybe we can continue to press it. Burgers are loyal. We're really far away though. How many clicks were we talking about? 15% minus 12.361 divided by 0.2. Like 13 more dev clicks? I don't know if I can afford that right now. 13 with an average price of, say, like 50. I don't have 650 monarch points, do I? Barely. It's too much, I think. I think we're better off just seizing. This time. I also need money for that marketplace. Damn, man. Okay, is the gold mine making any money? 0.09, wow. So much money. No, the center trade's not level 2. We have no money. Do you see how much money we have? <laughs> we make 3.43 gold a month. I'm losing money with 0.34 gold a month. And suddenly they're mad. Why are you mad? Don't tell me you both broke royal marriages. You did not. Did you take tech? You spawned... This guy spawned with tech 4. This guy must have just taken tech 4. Making them both more disloyal. Cool, fine, good. I don't care. You don't need to be loyal. Um, let's stop diverting trade from Makawa. I need prestige. One way to make sure your subjects are loyal is to just attack somebody. Get stronger. Although, we're going to have a lot of rebels soon. Difficult for me to get my army home. Because this bastard cancelled military access on me. And I can't get access down here because he's hostile. And rival Mutapa. Maybe that's going to be enough, possibly, to actually get them get 50 power projection. Mm -hmm. We had positive prestige. I did the scornful insult, didn't I? Shoot. You need to declare on arrival. Declaring on him would give us 10 power projection. <laughs> Time for more war? Swahili culture accepted. The cores aren't even done, man. How can I accept culture in their... I, I can't... Jimmy. Jimmy, come on, you're better than this man. You should know better. I might need to, uh, to do it. I might need to declare war to get the subjects to help us fight our own rebels. 33 diplo points. No, we'll take the mercantilism. Looks like he did break the royal marriage again. No. Why does he have such less opinion? All oh, right, aggressive expansion. Our ally is not doing so great, man. He's still on tech three. He's got 6k troops. He's integrating his subject. Maybe it is time to just dump Ajran. And then in five years, we can potentially attack him. I think we're more likely to want to attack him than we are to... ...use him effectively, you know? Would, would Ajran join us in a war? No. Hey, we have a core. Um...
Or exhaustion's almost gone. Alright, I can convert a province. We can make things into states. We can consolidate, concentrate dev into our capital, move two dev to gain one dev. Do it in this guy's land too. Take four dev to gain two dev. Destroy this to gain two and move two. This will make it easier to convert the land. I should have done it. If I was going to do it, I should have done it before starting the cores. I forgot to consider that. And it's also potentially better if the burgers are loyal. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go down to, like, no crown land. For a bit. Just so that we can... I need to build this marketplace to make the burgers happy. That gets us 1% closer. I'm, I'm, we're, it's, 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 everything's going to be fine. It also makes the burgers loyal. Which will lower dev cost here by another 10% to 35. And potentially make these clicks stronger. Or, like, more likely to actually give the dev that they say they're going to give. Yeah, see, this one upgraded to two dev instead of just one. Well, let's concentrate dev. Hopefully we still get two. Nope, still only get one. Um, still worth doing. Hopefully it didn't take dev from the gold mine, but if it did, whatever. We lose 12 liberty desire, 32 opinion with Sofala if I click that. I don't have the prestige. This gets me two more dev. I don't think we do it in his land right now. State. Bum, 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 bum. Missionary strength is still negative. Colonial cores. The colonial core, the, the full cores we had to get started right away to get rid of the overextension penalties, but I think we can wait for war exhaustion to come down on the last bit to avoid that 8.2% penalty. Now we just chill a little. And I'm supposed to build a marketplace. We can do that. Bum, bum. We'll make it harder to dev renaissance. It's going to be hard to dev the renaissance either way. And I'm more concerned right now about one, two, three, four, five, six provinces that all have negative 2% local missionary strength while we're at low religious unity and like actually getting the land converted while dealing with rebels, etc, etc. Like, I just, I don't want that. It's a shame that the kill with core got delayed by so long. Otherwise, we could have already stated this one, too. Um, um, we're very motiv motivated to get our capital to 30 dev for more splendor growth and more renaissance and uh, a second expanded infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Ultra acceptable now. Oh. Uh, it's all actually Swahili. Never mind, it is all except the culture. Which does help out with the missionary stuff a little bit. Baga Moyo is fetishist. They're easier to convert. Once it's not a territorial core and we have the edict on, it'll be even easier. I'm gonna wait for it to be even easier. You cannot have my money. It's my money. Mm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay 0.7% per month is way too slow. I wanna get you loyal. Can I get you loyal? I almost have enough trust. Bump. Um almost have the ability to turn this on again. Looks like yes. Move one of our merchants here. Let's move the guy that's in Zanzibar. Here, and move the guy that's in... Uh, this actually does go toward us, doesn't it? What? Why in the hell would it default to sending trade toward Alexandria? It's been doing that the whole campaign. Why? Why, Why not send it toward the one where it could actually come to us? Okay, sure. Weird. Vassal has eight troops? Yes, he does. He can field a total of 
four, and he is just over the force limit. Did he hire mercs, maybe? No? He just makes four gold a month. This is, this is, do you see why I didn't want to take his gold mine? You see how useful he is? <laughs> Potentially? Way more useful to have a useful subject. That's why the word useful is used. Because he's useful. You know what he's saying? Okay, state. Wait on war exhaustion to come down the rest of the way. Gold mine will potentially actually make us a little bit of money soon. The boss will stop being a valid rival. Okay. Got our marketplace. This means we might be able to play nice with Mombasa, but we also missed the opportunity to, uh, or his rivals, his rebels rather, and get power projection out of it. Um, give me ducats, Ajran. I think we're breaking our relationship with him. I guess those rivalry attitude, even though he's not able to be our rival. Can run missionary strength here. Sixty months, colonial core. Let's uh. Get the missionary working on a province. So because we've got negative 2.2 tolerance of heretics affecting goods produced, it probably makes sense to focus on converting the gold mine first. Even if it's not possible. <laughs> not possible. Even with Enforced Religious Unity on, with Colonial Core gone, if I core it, we gain 2%, we'll be at like 1.2%. Maybe there's a Missionary Strength guy, no? Sad. I'm gonna run the Trade Efficiency Inflation Reduction guy combo, try to get the event. I'm gonna just start converting the fastest to convert provinces, I think. And we know these rebellions are gonna happen no matter what, so we should lower autonomy everywhere. But the autonomy can't actually go below 50 until the cores are done. I guess I do like one at a time. It's actually an argument to just core everything and then lower autonomy everywhere. 1.55 war exhaustion is core creation cost plus 4.6. How much could that possibly cost overall? 4.6% of all that, right? It's like maybe 10 admin points. I think we just core it all. I'm not going to wait for the war exhaustion to come down 15 months. That's too long. And now we can lower autonomy everywhere. Except that it's... It better actually go down to 25. Fucking thing not updating on monthly... Like, I hate how it doesn't update on monthly ticks. Okay, it did go down. Good. We're fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. More land force limit. Good. We will have rebels to fight. We will train more troops. Let's go to... a little bit more. The more troops we have, the more loyal our subjects become. That makes us happy. Ajaran, I want you to give me some manpower, even though I don't really need it. It's to scare our subjects. Utapa stop being a valid rival. Okay. Okay. See, I don't know about that. See, I think we should attack him before the monthly tick. That way we at least get 10 power projection. Well, do we? The CB doesn't go away to the monthly tick, but I don't know if we actually gain the power projection because he's not a rival right now. Damn it. Well, we are breaking our alliance to Ajran. Um... So let's rival him. Thanks for your help, dude. Bum, 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 bum. Lowering autonomy also makes the conversion cheaper. True, but the conversion is already quite low because of our clergy right of donations. Missionary maintenance costs minus 50%. And when they're loyal, it goes up to minus 100%. 
I don't want to take more clay personally right now. I really want to get caught up on tech and start an idea group and that kind of stuff. The gold mines that we could have and, and stuff are just not... Like, this is not where you want to be 53% religious unity with so many provinces to convert, most of which we can't even do the conversions on. Um, So I think we're gonna... Move our fleet up to here, maybe? Get power projection to 50 temporarily? I should have embargoed Ajran before we uh, broke the alliance. Lots of silly little, little mistakes that I could be making. Dimmy Independence is growing, and it's growing by 0.5 per month. That's a 24% because they're not at 60 loyalty and they don't trend to 60 loyalty. Problematic. We need them to have more. Every owned province not of Muslim faith reduces missionary strength by 100, but also has no local religious unity contribution. This would only apply to the fetishist provinces we own. Give up the crown land again. Increases tolerance of heathens. But not heretics. Which doesn't affect our gold mine. Um, um. I just need to turn on like one more thing so that they trend to 60 to avoid disaster. I guess we have to turn this on. Not my favorite. See that or give up crown land and turn on dimmy land rights now. I can't afford to piss off the Ulima. I don't want to give up Crown Land for this. If I'm going to give up Crown Land, I'd rather give up Crown Land for governing capacity, I think. We know that's going to be a problem eventually. Maybe this one's acceptable, actually. I don't need the Crown Land right now. Or the uh, governing capacity right now. Okay. Any plan to colonize? We have to do colonial stuff. We're doing one faith. we got to murder everyone. It's the game plan. PP has ensmallened. Bad. Sucks when you only have one valid rival. I'm definitely missing a lot of monarch point generation by not um, having declared directly war, uh, declared a war directly on Mombasa, and then not having our embargo active missionary strength. At least we're not losing money. Uh, the eight noble rebels are going to go away. Second rebellion for the Killin Separatists shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Our inflation is going up. That's a good sign. We're making money from a gold source. Wow, 0.43. So much. 29.9 unrest. <laughs> okay. Sure, that's a lot. 74% reduced goods produced. Devastation coming down super slowly. I did full core this, so we could do a couple dev clicks to actually reduce the devastation. If we got rid of the devastation, holy crap is that penalizing. We could actually be at like minus 15%. I think we have to. Do. Let's wait till the 12th month and then dev Ilwa with Diplo points to get rid of Devastation. Wait to convert? I value the income potential from the gold mine more than the increased penalty to conversion. Like, yeah, there's 22% intolerance, but without that 20, without the 60% Devastation, again, we'd be going from negative 73.9 to only negative 13. So instead of having 
Instead of having 26%, we would be essentially going to... We'd be making 3.3 times as much as what we're making right now from this province, which is an extra one gold a month. Not to mention, I'm going to do dev clicks, which increase the gold income, so... Yeah, the money is way more important. Bum, bum. Someone just rang my doorbell. I hate it when people do that. I want to delete it. I don't need it. I don't need no stinking doorbell. Who could possibly be bothering me? I didn't order anything on Amazon. He's just casually sitting at eight, eight troops. <laughs> just he, he, he just doesn't care. Oh, so, shit. They spawned. I wasn't paying attention. They spawned while I was drilling with most of the army. Whoopsie. Well, that was a bit of a whoopsie. Bum, 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 bum. I got distracted by the doorbell. I blame the doorbell. We can recover. Hopefully they don't... Hopefully I can just go fight them next month. No, probably gonna have to let them reoccupy the damn thing, darn it. Yeah, I need more morale. More devastation. Yeah, true. Not much, though. It's mostly the extra years of separatism that's annoying. Although I think that the separatism can only stack once. Is that true? No, it's at 23 years of separatism now. Classic. We'll get two months to recover then. They only rang the doorbell once. That means that they don't actually care to be here, seems like. Um, um. Is the disaster dealt with? Maybe independence is still growing, but will probably not happen before we get to the, the right number. Press our subjects rebels. We can get a claim on Ajuran. We do have a royal marriage to him. We can break that because we have our rivalry established. Okay. Missionary is going a lot slower because I turned off the thing. We can dev now. Well, let's get rid of this devastation. 7.5 devastation per click. Well worth it, I think. And we can't go higher because of the thing. Mill click last. And then one more. This click just for good measure. Gold income. We make money now. Who we? Oh my god, Roomba missed Rebels firing. Now you have to make a post about how innovative is bad. We don't even have innovative ideas. Don't don't start giving me shit about innovative ideas when we don't have the idea group. <laughs> Need to get Crownland back up. That's another reason to do a couple more dev clicks. Let's see if there's like other devastation that's blocking prosperity growth potentially for the future. Lindy's got a ton of dev, ton of devastation last forever. Although most dev clicks should preferably be in our capital. Still, uh, I want to get Crownland to that number. The capital is... Keep dubbing the capital. Monarch point efficiency away from Europe. 
you will be amazed at how monarch point efficient we become. As a, as a Muslim religious group nation, we're going to get 10% all tech cost from Dimi, 10% all tech cost from legalism, 5% all tech cost if we have a character who's got 5 diplo skill, which we don't, but if we did, 10% tech cost from innovative ideas, so that's, by the way, 35% all tech cost if we do that. And eventually we'll have enough prestige generation that we can do that. We'll just keep killing people. So we get good errors. Religious unity penalty is still massive. Back to missionary strength here. Um. We're making money. And we're fixing our religious problems. And we're gonna get this event soon. Combo event and get 400 monarch points and stuff and stuff. Our air is cruel. Of course he is. Can we get a scholar from anyone? We turned on the clergy grant local residents to scholar, which allows us to choose a scholar without having to do the alliance stuff. So we already have Maliki and we also have Shafi because that's our, our faith. We could switch to a different Scholar if we wanted to by clicking a button. We can also get money from the Dimmy, but I don't want to do that. We could also make the Dimmy happy? Question mark. Lose 33 ducats to make the Ulima loyal. They don't actually trend high enough right now. They're mad because we have negative prestige. Prestige affects all estates. It's a big deal. The Lima will be happy if we develop our capital with admin points. 65% control of the node that we already have most of our control in. Let's get our prestige up. I'm going to use admin points in Tate. Even though it's going to slow down ideas and stuff. Whatever. I'm going to go to 30 expand infrastructure. Times of need. We need... Um, um. I mean, Avon points do the most for me right now. Grand Captain died. Mm. Do, 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 do. Love to upgrade the center trade before we do more dev. Mm. I think I might actually take the prestige here. And prestige over 25 monarch points. Because, like, that little bit of extra prestige is, like, what I need to help keep these estates from falling below 60. So, rebels. There you go. Hmm. Make it claims on anything else. This is all part of our culture. No, it's not. Morale of Armies guy. Alright, I need to go make a sandwich. Don't we need institution to save points? So I'm thinking about it, like... Would we be better off spending... Uh, what would it be? 90? 10% of 600 to 60, plus 5% is 30, so 90. Spend 90 admin points to embrace... To, uh, to take admin tech 5, then power through an idea group quickly and still potentially be able to get innovativeness out of it. We can't see if the innovativeness has already been taken. Our Monarch Point generation is not crazy at all, but if we get the 200... 200 Abin, 200 Diplo Point event, we could maybe get caught up on it. It's just there's so much innovativeness if you're the first one to go through innovative ideas. Remember the run with Jimmy, like, we, we were at, like, 70 or 80 innovativeness just having taken a couple levels of tech and finishing the idea group. Because this thing bumps each idea up to three, so you get two, four, then you go to seven, ten, thirteen, uh, sixteen, nineteen. Nineteen innovativeness if you're the first to do the group. A lot. 
You can see the individuals if you hover over the individual idea in the ideas group tab. Yeah, but you can only, annoyingly, Ginger, you can only do that if you have the idea group potential. You have to be able to take an idea group for it to update the tooltip to show you what whether you gain an individuals or not. It's very frustrating. Um... Well, the Dimmi are loyal. Tolerance of Heathens goes up. That doesn't affect our Heretics' tolerance, though. Um, so, gold mine income is still... still penalized a little bit by intolerance. We will... Add an Here's another example of a tooltip that pisses me off. Like, oh, we have no missionaries to send. No shit! But I'm trying to figure out what the missionary strength would be there. I can find it if I go here. So why do you make me look in like 17 different places for this shit game, you know? It's so frustrating. Full piety? It's very difficult for us to swing to full piety. Right now. Full mysticism, you mean. And at best, we're gonna save 7 times 400 times 0.1. So it saves 280 monarch points, but it requires a full flip to mysticism. Mysticism would be useful right, right now, I'll, I'll admit. We're trying to fix our religious issues. That extra 3% missionary strength would be great. But the way you normally want to do it is like swing all the way to... Get to like 75 so you can at least do the click. And then swing the other way. I forget, do you still get piety for declaring war on people? I guess they remove that. So it's harder to cheese it and force it to be what you want. Alright, um, I'm gonna zoom out, play the timeline, go get a sandwich. Take an aspirin because my tooth is hurting again. Tooth. Pull it out. I'll be right back. One sec.
Okay, I'm back. Hi, sorry. That person who rang my doorbell earlier, just, they just left. They didn't do anything. No packages, no card. They just ding-dong ditched. Look at that. Pretty sure that's an alligator. Pretty sure. I see you. Another one right there. For some reason, when you zoom out really far, like, you can see creatures through the fog of the war sometimes at certain, like, map points. I don't, I don't know why. Like, what's, see, like that? What's that? You zoom in and it goes away? Games are smart. <laughs> it was you! You're the one who rang my doorbell? You bastard! <laughs> Alright. I need to reload the save just to, like, restart my mind. Game always runs so clean when it's freshly loaded and it's like a mental reset for, you know, like, start a new session or something. I always feel great at the start of each stream. You got nervous? Well, at least you only rang the doorbell once, because I get mad. I, I just, I get irrationally angry when people ring my doorbell. I'm such a solitary person, you know, I've been doing this for like over 10 years now, so... I don't... I don't like it when people come to my house when I don't expect them to come to my house. It's just... Why Pate rather than Oman? Because 52% of you wanted to play as Pate. 48% wanted to play as Oman. That's why I call us. Okay, edicts, dev cost. Can't turn it off. Institution at 57%. I was considering whether we'd be better off trying to get the... I, I don't think we're going to get the ideas. Faster than, like, Florence or whoever took innovative. Heck, it could even be the Ottomans who have innovative. They seem to take innovative ideas a lot. Lately. So I'm leaning toward just continuing to dev push the capital. But if we're going to do that, we should try to get at least a level 2 natural harbor before we go any higher. We can save 5% of the remaining clicks. Plus we're making money now. Kind of nice maybe to put that eight stack of Sofala to use, have them fight Mutapa for us. Mutapa's on tech two to our subject tech four. We could just attack Mutapa. Now, okay. This is heresy, I know, I know. Calm, calm down, Jimmy. If we attack Mutapa and don't take their gold mines and instead take money, that's basically the same thing as owning the gold mines, right? But we don't have to pay Abin points, or deal with rebels, or deal with wrong religious stuff, low religious unity, etc. So if we attack Wutapa and don't take clay, you need to settle down. Okay? <laughs> but I think, I'm thinking we attack him and take some money so we can build our upgrade. But why not take the clay? <laughs> Because feeding the vassal doesn't make us make more money. If I feed the land to the vassal, he makes more money. But when I integrate him, I don't get his treasury. And you don't get anything from a subject having high gold income. Look at the amount of money that he pays us. We get 0.37. So the math is quite simple. It's 33.7% of their tax income. That's it. Take the taxation line. 1.11 times 0.37. It's us 0.37. If he makes another 11 billion in gold, that's good for him. Uh, and his treasury will be big, but we don't get any of it. But the clay. <laughs> you guys, that's turning. You guys are turning it into a meme now. I can tell.
about the clay. Point seven percent in the gold mine is gonna take a long time. The religious unity is a bigger issue, honestly. So we're gonna keep doing the fetishists first. Hopefully, we get our trade, our uh, inflation plus trade efficiency advisor events, and then I can switch to a missionary strength advisor. I'm sorry that I'm eating while playing. I need to eat, Jimmy. What is up with his tax income being so low? Only 0.62. Didn't he have at least one? Just from being a subject? Oh wait, I think I got confused by that before. Don't they actually have um 0.5 penalty for being a subject now or something? Is that right? Forget. All countries get one, but you're eating while watching too, so it's fair. <laughs> um, wait, you son of a bitch. You just deleted half of his army because I told him we we're going to put it to use. <laughs> you bastard. He doesn't like the fact that he's got a loan. I'll pay his loan off for him. Um, we could enforce religion on Sofala. But that is going to make it harder for us to convert land. I don't have bonus missionaries to help him out. He already has claims. Um... I don't want to continuously shit on Paradox. But you know I'm going to a little. Um... That's, to me, such an example of poor coding. Like, the dude sits at double his force limit for, I don't know, the last five to ten years. How long is our truce? Well, 70? So it's been five years. So for the last five years, he's been at double his force limit. Then he must have had a bad event that forced him to take one loan, which triggered a recalculation of his finances. So he deletes half his army. So because he's nine gold in debt, he's going to delete 40 gold worth of troops. And then, the next time I call him into a war, he's going to train to for back up to eight troops again. You know, it's it's so dumb. Really dumb. You look at the Mughals, their special culture mechanic is amazing, especially for World Conquest. Yeah, that, that's probably one of the primary things we'll consider going for. As long as forming the Mughals doesn't change our religion. You can go those claims. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but... We have religious problems. This is the wrong religion. We're behind on stab. We need to get caught up on tech. We need to develop the institution. Jimmy! Jimmy. You, you, know, you know better. You've been around. You've been here for a long time. Butt Clay. You're going to say Butt Clay again, aren't you? Butt Clay. I look over and... Jimmy only understands Clay. Yep, there it is. There it is. This also will let us reveal some of this map, potentially. He's allied to somebody in the fog that I can't see. Can we um, ask people for maps? And offer knowledge to our subject. Our subject doesn't have knowledge? How stupid is you? You don't have feudalism? Oh god, they both don't have feudalism. What's wrong with you? Alright, yeah, I feel bad for this guy. It's not gonna cost us much. Bagger song. Bum ba bum bum ba bum bum. Bum ba bum ba bum ba bum bum ba bum bum. Quick test, Jimmy! While I'm finishing my sandwich. Based on the words on the screen in this uh, offer knowledge sharing interface, do you wish to proceed offering Makua knowledge sharing? Should they accept, they will pay us 10% of their income every month. Do they pay us 10% of their income every month? Or does it instead do something completely different? This one says, by paying 10% of their income each month, 
Growing our oldest established institution, not only embraced by them, will be accelerated by one per month. You would say completely different. And you would be right! Because even though this interface is the way you interact with non-subject countries, and you're supposed to theoretically use this interface to interact with your own subject countries, it doesn't update the tooltip when they're a subject here, which makes so many people think that you can offer knowledge to your subjects and they'll pay you. But in fact, you pay for it. What does this say? Let's wait till the monthly tick. <gasps> wait, what? I need to delete myself. Wait, what? No. That was fixed? The streamer sucks. What if, okay, wait, what if you do it through this interface, though? I know, right? Honey Badger, it didn't used to happen. They keep on fixing stuff. I'm, I'm not used to Paradox actually fixing things. It, it makes my job a lot harder. Okay, the other one, you do subsidize them. It works no, it works two different ways for no reason. That's the, that's the perfect fix. That's, that's a, that's a Paradox fix if I've ever seen one. Fix it kind of, but not really. In a, in an obscure way that only a few people will know. Now we have to test it. The next, uh, when we get the, the knowledge from institution dev clicks, I'm gonna try doing it the other way just to, to get that, to confirm. Well, you gotta do this one. We'll make the war goal, Senna. It gives the clay. We'll have the Merc stack go... I'm gonna just go try to find their army and kill it, since they're on tech 2. We have a Morale of Armies guy right now. We'll tell our subjects that they should be siege focused. Bum, bum, bum. Make Ajran dislike us. I would rather not lose prestige. I'd really prefer to not take loans either, but... It is what it is, I guess. We could exploit Dev in the capital. We don't have... Temporary income modifier here, but I do have a church. Since I need to do the dev anyway, I think I will do this. We're gonna do... I wanted to get the center of trade built up, but I'm gonna do just a few dev clicks. Try to get the institution in. We've already expanded infrastructure. We'll do as many admin clicks as we can. And then... That's not the right click. I want this click. Give monies. Mm. Butua fort was mothballed. We should get started on that siege before it can get the garrison to 1500. I want to spy on you. Mm -hmm. We'll also be spying on Ajaran. We are. Mombasa. Ajaran's doing a thing. No, they're not. I am doing a thing. I know how this game works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't take enemy vassal? Well, what, you want a full annex? See, you're, I know what, you're trying to convince me to, like, take clay again. And I'm not gonna do it. Not this time. Not this time, Jimmy. Nope. And... Not easily get to this guy. He's gonna block us. That's another reason to not try to do annexation. Like, it's just so hard to actually reach him. Let our dude go. 3032 with two siege ships. Makua trying to train an army. Makua has like no income, but he'll probably delete his troops after. And we do have income now. So in circumstances like this, I like to give them just enough to support the troops that they have. So they don't demilitarize in times of peace and then have to re retrain. They just cycle. Like if they don't like it's just like what happened with Sofala. He'll look at his income and be like, well, I don't make any money. And then as soon as we go to peace, he'll delete everything. 
and then he has to build to rebuild it. And I go to war so often that they lose money. They just, they don't do well. Aqua needs lands. No, he doesn't. He's doing a good job just being what he is. He's given us land force limit. He's being useful. Being a derp. Still a little derp. Knowledge sharing has ended. Well, that didn't take long. What? Okay, yeah, he's got feudalism. Right. Um, we are at 79% here. Do, do, do. We will dump Diplo Mill Mill Mill. Renaissance has appeared. Pay power. Embrace the institution. Yes. And for science, we're going to try clicking the button the wrong way. On Sofala. Unless there's someone we can actually offer it to that pays us. Sofala won't accept it this way. We know for sure that you actually can profit that way, but if I click it here... 0.39. Alright, let's offer it to this guy first, because I would rather spend less. Bum. We'll see if we actually earn the income in both clicks, or if it is erroneously backwards when using the subject interface. Ajran's no longer valid. We are not earning money from knowledge. We are paying money for knowledge. So, you know, myth busted, confirmed, whatever. Clicking it through the subject interaction makes you pay, clicking it through the offer it makes them pay. How dumb is that? Seven. Seven dumb. We've invalidated arrival again, and our PP has become small. Why can we never have a big PP? I just want the biggest PP. Makes me sad. Oh, these are mercs, right? Get the mercs over here. Pull this army off. To minimize some of our attrition. On actual manpower. That is a gold mine. I will take that, please. He already transferred it. Good good job, Derb. Derp. Derb. We make absolutely no money from it though, because Abandoned Ruins, Devastation, Occupied, Under Siege, Intolerance. What if we do give it to Sofala? Can he make money with it? Like no. Oh, well, so far I guess to pay for everything. Actually, we're pretty much at peace. Ready to be at peace. We want... Or up straight power, money, prestige. All of the things that make us not be poor. Less prestige. Good enough. Bye! I think that's intended since you were forcing the knowledge on them without their consent. Hmm. Maybe? It clearly worked not that way in previous patches. I'm not crazy, right, Jimmy? It definitely didn't work that way in previous patches. So, for it to now be different, I find to be confusing. He forgot. No clay? <laughs> I didn't forget, I chose not to do it, because I don't need clay, I need money, so I can upgrade stuff. Money is power. You get a claim on him again. I'm trying to sync these up again, so we'll wait till December. A few more dev clicks lets us get money. I like money. Boom, boom, boom. Mozambique is not an awful location to develop, although it is the wrong religion still. We never did talk about the benefits of a body. We do have goods produced plus 10%, which is kind of nice. It's over 9,000! Aqua needs clay to get strong army. I'm subsidizing him. He's got 3k troops. And look, because of the subsidies, he won't delete his army. 
We have no valid rivals, but we're losing Liberty Desire for telling them to embargo rivals. It doesn't turn off automatically. Hey. All right, now I need a missionary strength guy, please. Ba -dum -bum. I will just take the points. They're both not half price. Missionary strength guy, please. No. Okay. It might be worth cycling level one admin advisors to try to find a missionary strength guy. It would speed up our conversions by a ton and actually make these, like, reasonable. Also, having positive stab would be swell. Boom, boom. Boom. Production dude is nice, though. I th I feel like at this stage of the game, the production efficiency guy is trash. Why do you think production efficiency guy is nice? The production efficiency guy would increase our income from production from 0.98 to... We would make an extra 0.096 monies per month. It's real bad. Like, really, really bad. Missionary? Good. Well, prestige guy's okay. I will keep cycling just one slot at a time. Inverts comet events. Incorrect. There's only one comet event that that production efficiency guy can invert. Beyond that, it doesn't invert. It's not every stab event. You, th you th I know which one you're thinking of. Um, it's in like 15 or 1600. And if you have a production efficiency guy, yeah, it does do that. But it's not every stab loss event. Monies. Ugh, need to develop more. But I also need to ca get caught up on tech. But I also need money. The main comet event can only be inverted by having a scholar ruler. Hmm. Is that what it is? Now you now you're making me question my sanity. I'm almost certain that it doesn't just straight up invert that event. Now I need to do some move foo. Or at least look through the save, this this uh, events list. There are a lot more of you than there are of me, so it is possible that you know something I don't. I have been wrong before, but... Let's search through all events for... What is the name of the production efficiency guy? <laughs> Artemis, it's your hometown. <laughs> Science? Um, um, are you sure? I can I can do it this way. He is a natural scientist, not science. Boom, 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 boom. Buddhism, consort, devotion, Easter egg. Trigger. Only size 800, natural scientist level 3. Doo -doo. I guess what we really want to search for is not all things that a scientist is involved in, but we want to find... What's that specific text string about um, comet, comet sense? Um, if only we had comet sense. Doo -doo. Meteor sighted. So the proposed argument is that having a scholar reverses it. Option, personality options, underscore, 5060, fascinating. A AI chance factor one, highlight yes, trigger when ruler has personality ancestor scholar, lets you have admin power 20. So if you have the scholar trait, it reverses the comet cited, the meteor cited. That is not the prestige guy. Sorry, the other thing. Boom. 
I'm just checking through all of the options to make sure that there isn't one that's different. You were wrong again, disappointed. What? What are you talking about? I'm not the one who was wrong. <laughs> you can't just say stream wrong again when I'm not wrong. Like <laughs> that's Alright, let's go back in time here. Who said it? It was It was original Daibo. Bum 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 bum. Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. Production dude is nice though. Inverts comet events. Production dude inverts comet. First off, it doesn't invert, and also, it's not the production dude. It's the scholar trait on your king. It's not having a production efficiency guy. So I'm not wrong on the internet. At least not um, in regards to this. <sighs> We're name bait to bait. Why my bait? Oh, we said scholar. No, I said, he said production efficiency guy did it. I said, I think there is a specific event that's flipped by having a production efficiency guy. But that's a once per campaign event. It's like in the year 15 or 1600. That's different than the Comet Sense stab loss event. We'll all just be wrong, it's fine. Okay, Artemis, if you can explain to me why Mabate is an interesting name, I will rename the province. In fact, we could even, if you'd like, Jimmy, we could we could re-enable province rename requests for a while. I don't know if I want to do it with every province in the game, because we're going to be conquering a lot of crap, but it'll be fun. Our claims are going to expire here eventually. This guy has no friends. Uh, it's time for you to die. I don't know what happened there, but he lost his line Sajaron, so time to die. Also, we need more boats. Although, we're super close to 20 force limits. Which makes me kind of want to not build boats till I can select a naval doctrine. Because the price of the naval doctrine is based on how many boats you have, but... Nah, just make the boats. Artemis. It's not. It sounds vaguely African. What? Masturbate? Okay. We can go with the, the funny renames approach. Funny, funny slash dumb renames. Masturbate. <laughs> Masturbate. Funny. Kind of funny. This guy have boats. He has 11. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have an idea group soon. Holy smokes. Have that army go to there. Let's have this army go to here. Just hunt his army down, or at least scare it so that it tries to go off into the uncolonized lands and maybe gets itself killed. We've got loyal Dimmy. We've got 56 legalism. Look how powerful that is. We're already down to 474 ebon points for a tech. Now that we have innovativeness or uh, renaissance. The Bard of Blarney. Thank you for your Twitch Prime. Appreciate your support, man. Get prestige to 50 to gain ebon points. That's a lot of prestige I would need to gain. We do want to get our stab back up eventually. We're not going to do that for a while. We'll do this and hope that we can get the... Hope that we can get it. Can't run for me. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Lindy. It's fine. Bum. Have you ever done a Native American tribe? I'm catching up on VODs. You should just watch on YouTube. I don't think it's on YouTube, but yes. We did a run as, uh... We made a custom nation tribe called, uh, what was it called? Migratia. The entire purpose of the country was to migrate fast 
Hence my Gracia. Tell our subjects to be supportive. Have them assist. They can tank the African attrition for us. And this army and this army can group up and prepare to go do a thing. Never mind, we already won. GG. Um, this is a full annex and release subjects type situation. And catch up on chat though, just in case. So yeah, like we don't want a core because we're gonna slow down our idea group. We have two loyal subjects. We could easily have a third. We could re release Mombasa. Or we could actually release the guy that died earlier and have two of them. Two of them it gives us more overall force limit, more trade power in the node. Might make it hard to keep the subjects loyal. It is possible for us to annex in 65. Two is better than one. Two is better than one, but I think two is a little too much for us to make loyal. I don't want Sofala to become disloyal. Right when we're around, right, right when we're allowed to integrate him. Because I do want to integrate him. We, we want the gold income for ourselves. We just, you know, didn't want it when we could have had it earlier. Come back from Ajran for a sec. We have all of our favors. That. Fighting his navy probably cost me ships. So we won't. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Mombasa or Malindi, then Mombasa. Oh, I forgot that we actually do have a level 1 monument here. It was at level 2 and it downgraded only by 1. Shit, maybe we should have considered full annexing and force vassalizing to preserve that level 2 2500 gold investment. This does make me want to convert the province more too. Ship trade power and yearly prestige modifier. Just get that online. Money. Uh, let's see. Worst case scenario, I do have positive prestige at the moment. I could probably placate people down to loyalty, or we could just turn off trade power diver diversion if they become disloyal. We're going to lose Diplo rep when we integrate a, sub a subject because I don't have room to turn on the benefit. I could make room if we sell titles right now and then revoke something. I'm concerned about the Dimmy continuing to build up over time. They're at 37. I might need to revoke Supremacy over the Sultanate so that their influence comes down a little bit. That or get rid of the Free General soon. Or the increased levies, because we aren't struggling with manpower at all. Yeah, maybe increased levies goes. We've converted one province. We've converted more than one. We've converted two. And we're on our third. And it's at 3.7%. Uh, we're kicking butt. And we're not small. All right, I'm going to release. We're going to go with two subjects. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. And the new subjects will divert trade. We will... Bum, bum, bum. Struggle a little bit to keep these two loyal. Our force limit will adjust though with theirs. Maybe Sofala stops having stuff. I do want our subjects to become weaker now, so I'm going to stop subsidizing Makwa. I mean, it sort of sucks that he'll waste money deleting his troops, but I don't want him to be fully drilled up. So it's making Sofala disloyal, for example. Bum, 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 bum. 
bum, ba -bum. And... Even though they can cancel their royal marriages, I'm gonna try to get them established. Bum, bum. We will improve with you, improve with you. Make sure that we've got improved relations on. Our merchants are doing stuff. I think the one that's in Ethiopia should probably be collecting here. We're at 3.84. Went up a little bit. We can use Propagate Religion. This will convert provinces in our node from fetishist to other things. 14 provinces can be converted. Okay. That will make it easier for us to conquer some of the land down here, potentially. So Fala broke their royal marriage to us. Let's cancel divert trade on him temporarily. So we can refresh it next month. Without that, we just lost the propagate religion thing, which is silly, but whatever. You guys need to stop being disloyal. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, uh... We have enough favors to bump trust again here. Those rebels need to be dealt with. Here's with Ajaran is up. Bum, bum. Here's our admin tech for 474. Sold. Not even gonna consider it. We're going innovative ideas. Don't question it. It is what it is. So are we starting with innovative or influence? The thing about influence is that it's great for monarch point efficiency and integrating lots of subjects and stuff. Vassal, vassal income helps keep them under control. Um, the 15% liberty desire is nice. All that. Whatever. But like... Innovative ideas is all monarch point efficiency. Because the tech costs minus 10 and the advisor costs minus 20. Just securing monarch point generation. Especially important when you're playing as a monarchy and you can't control your heir. Not easily. We'll see. You'll be. You'll soon be trading. Soon be trading in ivory. True. We're at thirteen point eight percent market share right now. Need more boats. Need more subjects diverting trade. Need for them to stay loyal. Um. I need to make Sofala. Sofala, how do you keep on getting in debt? You know? Like, how? Got seven troops still. Just being a dingus. What a dum dum. We want to cap off relations with him. We're going to integrate Sofala first. Probably do a double integration as soon as they're both allowed to be integrated. We'll attempt to use this again. My army is pathing through here for some reason. Okay, sure, fine. Might be worth considering getting rid of our Merc stack soon. Free general is convenient, but we don't really need it. And we see what it's converting. It is currently converting Mombasa. Huh. All right, it's fine. Before the integration, force religion. Forcing religion on someone in our religious group will make them mad. They will lose 50% liberty desire which is kind of problematic for our current circumstance. Um, 
forcing the subject, forcing a subject to be a religion. Look, this fucker took a loan again. Stop it. This doesn't force their capital to flip. So it's not a free conversion. It just forces their state religion to become your religion, and then they have to convert it. So there is no like free conversion to be gained by forcing the religion. And they're already so disloyal because I made four instead of three that I think we just wait. We do want to switch to, to uh, and we only have 1.5 missionary strength. Gross. Gross. We need a missionary strength advisor badly. But we're only being offered level two guys and they cost 50 gold to fire. Boo. We could ally Ajaran again. He's not a valid rival at the moment. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. I thought I cancelled the subsidies to this guy. Apparently I didn't. Okay, uh, so fall is on tech 4. We released these two subjects before we took tech. I want to hold off on taking tech until we get to the third idea group, if possible. Third idea, sorry. But I'm not sure if we're going to get that far. They both broke royal marriages. Breaking the royal marriage does cost me legitimacy, so it is kind of wasteful to keep doing royal marriages when you know they're just going to break them. But whatever. Money? I like money. Ten months of an entire country's income just to fire a dude. It's kind of insane, right? 60 gold. I mean, we make six gold, seven gold a month now. It's crazy. All because the game won't give us a missionary strength guy, and I have no privilege slots to force a, a missionary strength guy. Getting to 50 prestige is difficult at the moment. When did I say we could integrate again? We can integrate now, actually. If he was loyal, it would take 55 Dipple Points, it would take 118. We're definitely integrating one right now. That'll make the others loyal. 118, and then this guy... I would like to sync this up as well. We'll see. The privilege is only 50% for the missionary guy. The other 50% is Stab Dude. I thought that it was a decision that lets you choose between one or the other. I don't use that one very often. I usually just fish for regular advisors or get them from events. But you could be right. How close are we to Golden Era? Little society. If we had five vassals, we would be able to turn our golden era on. Other than that, we're looking for renaissance to be embraced in our whole country. It is spreading, but very slowly. And we're going to be chasing it, unfortunately, if I integrate this subject. Like our suffering attrition. Move towards legalism. Yes. Um, 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 um. Um, 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 um. You've never used it, but reading it, it sounds like it's random. Well, I guess we could try it, maybe. Gain stuff or piss off the burgers. I would like to gain stuff. I like stuff. Upgrade this thing to level two. Do we have? We actually might have five centers of trade. That might be another way that I can get to. Old Nera. Two owned by subjects. I've got one, two, three. We'll be at four here. Um, crap. I think I just missed an opportunity. 1444. We had one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Thinking about mercantilism at the moment. Probably don't need to worry about it. We don't need to do that every campaign. It's fun when you can, but whatever. Lose stab or gain corruption. 
Uh, gross. Well, it's not like we're losing prosperity, so whatever. Who needs stability? Having stability is really only important when you have rebels and loans and whatever. It's, it's only 2% global trade power, like, it doesn't matter. First age bonus. Doo -doo -doo. Adaptive combat terrain bonus. We do have a lot of... No, it's farmlands. Huh. We have, like, no farmlands. War taxes, claims, watering claims. We could be fabricating already over here. I have no transports yet, but I do want to continue to expand soon. We'll take claims, watering claims and pretend like I am going to pay attention enough to actually do, do it. Get a new general. Piss off the burrs. Got room for three more troops right now. We're going to inherit troops from Sofala, so we don't want to train. And save some cash that way. 55. Let's see. 118 minus the 40 we have. So. Minus 55 to integrate the other guy, divided by 5 per month. In 5 months? Five months we should be able to start the second integration. I think that was April. Wasn't really paying attention. We make our heir into a guy. He's not very good, so hopefully he kills himself. Three farmlands on the whole continent. I think there might be four. Four. Just got back. What'd you miss last hour? We became bigger. We killed Kilwa. We attacked Mutapa. We are integrating a subject. It is April. Whoops. Here, we want to start integrating all... <laughs> I swear, every country in Africa has an M in their name. Like, they start with M. Makua is not quite loyal enough, but we can trick it into letting us start the annexation anyway. And March, April. We're off by one month, but that's close enough that the Diplo Rep penalty won't actually matter. And leave the event on the screen. Religious scholars disagree. Unfortunate. Have I done an assay on unit pips? For example, is it better to take one shock, two morale pip versus two shock, one morale pip? I have not done it like as part of an assay, but we do talk about it a lot. Well, I don't always talk about it when I take it, but like... Your question is one shock, two morale versus two shock, one morale. So the thing is that if that was what you we were being offered, two shock and one morale versus one shock, two morale, the amount of morale that you have, the, the pips you have in morale affects the amount of morale damage you do, but the amount of shock pips you have affects the amount of death that you do, and the amount of death that you do affects the amount of morale that you do. So almost always you want to prioritize the actual combat pips over the morale pips. Unless it's like, do you want a morale pip, offensive morale pip versus a defensive fire pip? In that case, I would usually take the offensive morale pip because I want to do more death, right? Like just, I just want to win the fight so that I can move on to the siege. This fucker keeps on moving around. Whichever province I want to drill in, he stands in. Did trading and ivory mismatch the integrations? Nope, it actually synced them up for us. Nice. New thinkers arise. Gain a half price level 2 dude. We can afford a half price level 2 dude. He is this guy. Extra 1 gold a month? We can afford that. Oh, missionary strength guy. Never mind, we're gonna take you. He has suddenly appeared. Wow. He goes so much faster now. Bum, bum, bum. Advisor costs minus 15. Hell yeah. Sweet. Even cheaper now. Bum, 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 bum. It's a shame that we're like so close to being able to turn the golden arrow on. 
and we're not going to be able to. Um. Oh well. Hopefully we'll end up at 20 naval force limit with the integrated land from Sofala. We can turn on our bonus for the uh, ships to have more trade power. With that extra 2% missionary strength, I think we are going to go for converting Kilwa next. We have a trading navy. Wow. Sure, cool. Neato. New state. New state. New state. We will be lowering autonomy soon. We gained eight troops. We are over by a little. Just a little. Let's get rid of our Merc stack now. Um, these cogs are somewhat useful. We don't currently have 20 naval force limit because I got a lower autonomy first. Um, let's improve with this guy again. Start spying on this guy again. Subjects are currently still not loyal. Get him loyal next month and do the royal marriages again. Propagate religion just got turned off. Damn. Um, what? But we still have 60%. Dominant religion in pate is a body. Oh shit. <laughs> really? How close is it? Jesus. We got 69 point something percent Sunni. We just have way too much Sunni land now. It's funny. Okay, we're still over by a lot. Let's lower the autonomy. Should get us to 20 naval force limit. We can turn on our ship trade power modifier. And it looks like we gotta delete like five troops. Lines 18. We're getting close to having enough boats to be able to build a flagship. We're not going to take tech unless I have to. So I want to potentially get a... Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I want to get the idea cost discount. I know how to say words. Lindy, roll marriage, please. You as well. Become loyal. Subjects are happy. We offer knowledge to somebody. We can, and it'll make us money. Because apparently that's how it works now. That's silly. Any special missions for Pate? Um, I think that they're generic, like, African Swahili missions. There's no flag. Normally, if it's a special mission for a country, there's, like, a little flag right in the middle. But we do have stuff related to stuff. I don't know. It's like all trade focus and whatever. We did test it already, yeah. The knowledge sharing thing is indeed working. If you offer knowledge via the economic action interface to a subject, you do get paid for it. If you offer it via the subject interaction, you pay for it. Because that makes sense. Right? But of course. Oh, I see you. So then we have maps. How'd that happen? Cool. Aravi. I want to kill you. Kali de Buha. I smell subjects on the horizon. And potentially... Prestige, so that we can get this 50 admin points. Propagate religion got nerfed, not counting the fun bug where you can make it do all the provinces at once. <laughs> it's not really a nerf though, right? All right, we have 24 light ships. We're actually over, just costing us a little bit of cash. Mothball our transports. I think I'm actually going to build to 30 so that we have, that should be enough to build a flagship. Yeah, four more transports is 200 sailors. Bum, 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 bum.
Inland routes doesn't do anything for us right now. Bum, bum, bum. Missionary, 3.5%. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to actually knock out Ilwa. Just 37 months, that's not too bad. We could try to become the defender of our faith, which would make sense considering that we are one of three whole countries that are a body. Bum, bum, bum. Still remember the Buha campaign with Quill? Yeah, that was fun. Congo has rivaled us. We have a valid rival. Ooh -wee. We can fight them. We can fight them. Um, um. I don't want to lose prestige doing a scornful insult right now, so we'll just do a regular embargo. Congo can be steered toward us. Yes, we should have a merchant here then also. Um, let's see. Our weakest merchant is the guy in the Gulf of Aden. He's only doing 1.01. .01. The guy that's in Zanzibar is giving us an extra 0.5 monthly money. 0.5 is less than 1. Great Lakes and Congo. Gulf of Aden. Great Lakes has 1.92 money in it. Congo has more money by quite a bit more and only a little bit more trade power. Um, this is directly going to us though, whereas this node is retaining 38%. I'm not sure which one's better. Let's try Great Lakes first. Did the wrong one. Crap, not gonna make it before the monthly tick. Whoopsie. Umbasan Particularists. Also, we have a second gold mine. With 22.6 unrest. Yikes. Do, do, do. And intolerance. We have a new culture that's not accepted. Ndaguni. Guess we spy on Congo? I want power projection. We haven't had power projection like this whole campaign. Do, do, do. I almost have a claim on Maravi. Maravi gets us up next to Buha, so we could potentially force vassalize Buha, which at least gets us access to this group. Pretty sure that this water tile doesn't connect across to Lega. So we would have to do the same thing over here to get somebody on that side. But once we have Buha as a subject, we could like attack Rwanda. That brings in Kambezi. Then you force vassalize somebody on this side. Now you're connected to there. You don't have to wait for colonization. You can spawn Zulu. Who's Zulu? Uh, he doesn't exist right now. Is he... Uh, how do you do it? What do you mean? Zulul. Okay, so. What am I waiting for? I'm waiting for a claim on Maravi. We get to go on a rampage down here now. The Pate start was definitely way easier than Oman. Like, we're already kind of strong. We've barely even started taking ideas yet. Feeling, feeling pretty strong, though. He's got 7k troops. We don't have any forts yet, which is one concern. And our sub... Wow! Mombasa has got six troops. How are you able to field? Why are you two over your force limit? And losing money. And you have five troops. They're both over their force limit. <laughs> but why though? Um, up on the Guni culture. Is that... I'm, I'm not picking up what you're throwing down. Spawn Zulu. Okay. Admin Tech 15, not a subject. One shot and kill what was clutch? Yeah, it was pretty solid. Um, I think we just attack this guy, and we have plenty of relationships for, for stuff. I'm willing to spend Diplo points to force Vassalize and get into this area. This guy's got claims, and we can murder this whole area, and that's just trade power for us. This is how we snowball, I think, a bit. 
We are still going to finish off this ID group, of course, so I don't want to take any clay myself, really. This guy is... less than 100 war score. We could full annex and release. Um... It will cost a lot of Dipple Points, since I don't have claims on the land. Bum, bum, bum. But the aggressive expansion doesn't really matter, so... Probably worth doing. Bum, bum. Alright, we have our first idea. We could, theoretically, try to get our mysticism to actually be positive. It would be very difficult right now, though, because we've got that passive growth of 0.1 piety, taking us toward legalism. But if we wait till we're at 75, I could click this, and I think this makes you lose 50. We get a free loan out of it. So 50 gold plus swing it 20, 25 more points that way when we click the this button. So we can go all the way back to zero. Can we target Defender of the Faith later? Target Defender of the Faith. We're gonna become Defender of the Faith. I think for now, we maybe just take that. Although I really want the Golden Era before we... St I love getting the Golden Era active before I start taking ideas, because it just really... All the Monarch points we spent to get the Institution basically get covered by the Golden Era all-power cost reduction. Problem is that we're just so far away now from having Renaissance in every province, and it's going to take forever to spread to these distant locations. Could be running institution spread to try to make it sooner, but we're also still trying to convert provinces. So, do I own five centers of trade? One, two, three, four, four. I can't get to five until we integrate another subject. Can't seize because it's their capital. Just struggling to get that damn golden air active. <laughs> Time's ticking. You just did it again. Jimmy, you guys do this constantly. I just had the thought. I talk about it. I look over and then you have... There's the question. Like, I swear, there's a chance. There's a non-zero chance that you're just asking what I'm saying on purpose to mess with me. I feel like I do it all the time. It gives the clay. We'll have our two siege pip air go there. We'll have this army just march up to Buha, take care of that. All our subjects to be aggressive, because they've got a tech advantage and they should be able to murder people. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. We have the economy to run Cav, and we have plenty of manpower, so I'm gonna start consolidating our infantry regiments out. Only a level 1 fort, so we can pull most of these troops off. Early Zulu would be strong. Okay, alright, okay, I'm gonna Google it. EU4 Zulu. So this is a formable country. You want to form a different country. Zulu. What are we looking at? Nation that is releasable via event. Either by Mutapa and Razwi Empire. Mission recruit the Nagui. From 1750 onward, the event can happen without getting triggered. They can also be spawned by separatists. Okay. So what's the idea? You want to release and play as? I don't even... Are we allowed to release and play as and still have the third way? We did technically start as a body, but... I think if we release play as, we might... No, it says right there, I have not changed to playing as a release vassal. So, stop talking about Zulu, Jimmy. <laughs> stop it. We're not going to make fetch happen. Not going to happen. I want you guys to get ready to group up there. 
our two siege pip guy is still here, which is fine. We're almost to 50 prestige, which would be nice. Sophie Wolfie! Me and Jade are watching from Manchester, UK. Cool. I've never been to Manchester. At least I don't think I have. I've been in the UK twice, I want to say. Ugh. Institution spread penalty from devastation is still so bad. We need to build a fort. We have no forts, and we need two. We have the economy for it. Um, I want one in the capital, but I think we care about devastation in this area more. So, unfortunately, get devastation down in both. I would have to build it on the gold mine, and I don't like building gold mine forts. But it's very unlikely that anyone's ever going to get to this location again, so it's fine to have a gold mine fort here. Can't do it while we're converting, though. Do we build one here and here? need two after all. Doesn't protect very much land though. Whatever. He's fine. No pirate raiders? Nope. Our truce with Mombasa is up. Fair enough. Our subjects are doing nothing. We have one siege bit. Alright, we're gonna pull our guy off. And flip them to supportive then. If we can get them to actually do something in this war. We'll have our... 2-2-2-2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. He's got a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, it takes forever. Boom. Go there. We want, to, we want the whole army to march together because we will fight natives, most likely. Africa's a big place, apparently. Very tempted to take that idea already. How long can I hold out? When will it actually be present? Where's the slowest spreading Renaissance province? Lolo. 0.94 per month. Based on the amount that it has, it's going to be in Lolo. That is the problem. You are the problem province. A couple dev clicks there can speed it up. I'm spending monarch points to save monarch points is kind of silly, but I could spend the points that I don't care about, like mill and dip. No natives. Cool. Rename Lolo to Lol. Okay. Done. Wrong. Just to stay, you're supposed to. Did this guy's army die fighting natives? No, he's still got 9k troops. Okay. This is driving me nuts. I'm gonna turn it off. Infinite Kawa manpower issue, but until then, does it work like uh, what we were just dealing with in the recent campaign where they have. Uh, you can rec recruit troops and it doesn't cost anything. We just did that with Asars. It was kind of silly. Bum, bum. Some favors with these two, keep them loyal because we're about to have more subjects. Please die to rebels. So you have no army. Or natives, rather. Our knowledge sharing has expired. Okay. We're just waiting on the siege here now.
Two more ships to go, and we can build our flagship. Exceptional year. That is our trigger to potentially do more exploit devs. I don't think we have any provinces that have good exploit devable land, though. It will make the missionaries work a little bit faster, but we did get a missionary strength guy now, so... Wait, why is it still 2.7? That seems slower than it was before. I didn't do dev here. Huh. We we don't have enforced unity of faith active. I should. If I sell titles, I probably can revoke. Although when it's close like this, you sell titles, which gives the Ulima land, which increases their influence, and then you chase it and it pisses me off. So no, you gain missionary strength from positive stab, but you don't lose missionary strength from negative stab, so it's not that. Okay, we're gonna force vassalize this guy. I did co belligerent him, so. He's not increased war score cost, but it does always take dipple points to do force vassalization, so we might as well do it through him. 41 dipple points. Kill his rivalries so that we have more money, uh, prestige for stuff. Seems fine. Immediately divert his trade. Why you have to be mad? They still have a truce with me, don't they? They do not. Alright, we'll allow them to be loyal then. Double check that we have our ruler marriages. Because we're going to go to four subjects, which means we probably won't have them be loyal. Next agenda. Get stabbed to one. Kill the rebels to gain more prestige. Like this to automatically gain loyalty with the burgers. Dimmy lose land if we build a mosque in Makua. Crown land is very valuable, so sure, do that. Can't start the building, or can I? Can. Can't. I can click the interface, but I can't. Damn. Hopefully they'll take care of it for me. I want them to take care of it for me. Mongo stopped being a valid rival. Of course they did. We're never going to have power projection, okay? Just stop trying to make... Power projection happen. Religious unity and stab cost minus 10 is better for us right this moment. This is better for us economically, but we have gold mines, so I think we take the thing that's better for us right now. Small PP confirmed. Take that back. Are they going to fight it or not? So if they're not going to fight it, i got to bring my army home. Annoying. We got room for two troops. Let's get some cav now. risk crossing this. I have to cross multiple times. I wanted to do the wars for Buha up there before I, uh, do that. Um, let's send... I'm just gonna turn around and send ten troops back up that way. With Maravi, we want a full annex release, I think. Sixty-two dipple points. That <laughs> eight spending points on this, especially because you know, like I'm about to have golden era. It would, I could save ten percent. Waste. Oh no, there's a coalition. Potentially, they're gonna get mad. Here, if they're mad. Why you have to be so mad? I also forgot to check if our trade income actually went up when I moved the merchant. He is moving 0.73. That's more than the 0.5 extra we were making, so I think it's profitable. Probably. Also, I want to try moving the guy that's in... Gulf of Aden. Instead of focusing on the wealth that's up there, let's focus on getting all of this. So we've got more subjects in here now. 
Melindy, sir, have you considered being loyal? Do you have debt? You don't. You do. You are loyal now. How about you? Pervert trait. Do that. You. Pay off your debt. We don't really need this spy to work on Kongol anymore since he, uh, is who he is. As far as this land goes, new subject. It was Moravi, right? Yes. I think we just make another big subject for now. Okay, so the two new subjects are disloyal, but the older subjects are loyal. So that means we're good. No more call for pizza. Don't care about the subjects being disloyal. Don't want to take tech. We're waiting on Golden Era still. And the Golden Era is just waiting on... Ah, crap. If I had released two subjects here, we could have turned it in, but... Wanted to do some dev clicks here. Even though it makes it harder to convert the province. It'll be fine. Don't worry, Jimmy. Gurrawix, thank you for your tier one sub. Seven months. One month streak. Your support. We also have 24 summit now. Let's get to Morkow. And we don't have our 30th ships yet, but they're popping out soon. Flagship soon. These guys can come down to here. We'll probably have some more exhaustion. We should wait for that to go away. And then we'll consider attacking for Buha's claims. Bum, 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 bum. Probably be spying on this guy. Ajran? We're not friends. I'm not going to give you money for trust. I'm sorry. Or favors. Wonder doesn't grow? You're thinking of prosperity? Prosperity can't grow with negative stab, but if you don't have prosperity, then being on negative stab doesn't really matter. I'm not motivated to try to gain prosperity growth because we have a shitty king. He's got 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So the rate that prosperity grows is 5% chance per stat of your king. We have six. We would only have a 30% chance for progress each month on prosperity growth. If we had a really good king, it would be a lot more motivating to potentially try to get prosperity. More rebels. So, they are here. When is the time to annex the derps? These two derps we can annex in 72. Three years. These two we just got. No, not my gold mine. I think I only started one of the two forts as well. Need to start a second fort. We have no money. We'll drill for a little while since we have no money and trying to do stuff. Hey! Finally! Ilwa is Ibadi, which means it suddenly has another 10% goods produced from being Ibadi. Actually, I think the Ibadi modifier applies even in non-Ibadi provinces. Because it's a global... It's it's a country modifier. But intolerance went away, so gold income went up. So that's good. The rebels are going to fire again, eventually. Um, next conversion. Let's do whichever one gives us the most religious unity. Aqua. Turn strength here, and that means we can turn this off. Renaissance soon-ish. I'm gonna run institution spread in this state actually. Try to get it closer. The state I think already has it. Turn it off here. 
Bum, bum, bum. Sophie Wolfie has converted from a Prime Gaming sub to a Tier 1 sub. Oh. Well, well done. I don't actually have enough troops to deal with that right now. Dang it. What is this? We can do our legalism click. Or we can let it keep building up to get 2.5% all tech cost and another 5% national tax bonifier and stuff. Uh, it's only 55 gold, and I kind of want it. We are going to be taking tech relatively soonish. Will Arumba claim economic hegemon by 1550, 1570, or 1600? That is a very long term poll. That could take days. And you can only have one prediction open at a time, unless they changed it. So, not sure how I feel about tying it up for potential days. I've been playing for 4 hours 40 minutes and we're only 30 years into the game, 20 years into the game. So, have to infantry ratio here is fine. A negative one babby do this. Let's have this guy actually can turn around again. Don't we'll fight rebels, natives. We'll do it. And we'll propagate religion again. Cool. Why not? Economic hegemon, 1,000 monthly income, like... It is still a lot to try to get that. One branch you! Thank you for your Switch Prime! How's it going, man? What are we trying to do here? Build a mosque in Makua, right. And I can't because we're converting it. Which... fails it? Ah shit, Makwa gets Dimmy House of Worship. And because I've got more crown land from dev clicks, now we only get one base tax. Failing will piss them off and I lose 5 loyalty equilibrium for 20 years. Well shit. Guess we're not converting that one. They can be wrong for a while. Sure. Yeah, Dimmy wants mosques. Weird. That occupation stalled our last ship, it looks like. Stalled or deleted? Deleted, somehow. Huh. We were on track to be at 30 ships. Oh well, it is what it is. We have enough that I can seize land and do our clicks. I think I do want to revoke something from the nobles to make room for other clicks. We're going to turn off increased levies because I don't want to have the nobles keep on getting more and more control of land. And we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this. Dimmy, you're temporarily not happy, but that's okay. We will hire a improved relations guy. Defender of the Faith for a second missionary and reduce missionary maintenance when we have that many more to convert. We're a body. No one's going to attack an a body person, right? Mizab and Ormuz are the only two that could get us called in. Alternatively, upgrade a bunch of centers of trade to improve economy. Um. I think I prefer the center of trade upgrades for this moment. And by a whole bunch I mean one, because there's not enough dev here. Alright. Ah, we died. That was loud. Did I just lose... No, we couldn't lose two stab because we were at one stab. Negative two stab, I mean. We have a one, two, five, negative one bevy, and a an even worse error. He only has... He's a negative two bevy. Gross. Kill bevy? Kill bevy. We kill... Yeah, bad. Bad bevy. Unless we're spe specifically trying to get our prestige up. 
Also, by selling land and getting that money, we reverted this to giving crown land again instead of actual base tax, which is definitely better for us. This army is going to suppress rebels for now. We still have one more month of war exhaustion. I can't declare war while we have negative prestige, though. Sorry, negative stab at three. Hmm. Honor point generation sucks. Sucks having horrible kings. And having no power projection. No valid rivals. Ooh. Eat my golden arrow. Badly. We're still waiting on this one. Like 30 months or something? 72? An institution spread back on. Boom. Present in 72 still. Yeah. Alright, fine. Royal marriages, yes, that's the thing I want to do. Spying on Sakalava. I keep moving merchants around and stuff and then not actually paying any attention to what the change is. I feel dumb. I feel like I'm like, I didn't ever even finish my sandwich. Look at this. There's got to be more money, right? We're making more now? Probably? Maybe? I don't know. How dare you not be loyal? Okay, with royal marriages, they should be loyal. Also, if we pay off their loans. Um, can we offer knowledge? Just someone. No. I get a claim on Sakalava. Nine hold of. Wow. These two need to be maxed out on opinion. Buha needs to be maxed out. Moravi is less pissed off. Let's do these guys. I think we don't need to do this. We can invite a new scholar again. Unfortunately, I have to re-up my admin points. Lost. We want the dev cost discount now. The cash war against Ajaron. I mean, I do like money. But... If I were going to do war right now, I'd probably be wanting to, like, clean up this area. And, um... Ajron's picked up friends again. This is way easier, right? These guys are on tech 2, 3, 4. Ajron's on tech 5. It's the rebels, uh... Yeah, yeah. Alright, it's just a mistake to try to keep this army over here right now, I think. De deal with our rebels. We have a 4 plus 3 is 7. It's another negative 2 baby. We have had absolutely awful rolls on every single air. It was like a negative 4, a negative 2, a negative 1, and a negative 2. They're trash. Dean professionalism. I like professionalism. I don't like losing burger loyalty. I don't like losing Amir loyalty either, but... Hey. This guy apparently wants to fix our stability issue. I have to bump it at least once so that we can declare wars. I'd really still like to wait for the Golden Era. So damn freaking close. These airs do indeed suck, like real bad. We have a glo we have a fort, yay! One whole fort. We need a second fort. I never started my second fort. I have no money. How do we keep having no money? State maintenance is quite high because I'm trying to spread the institution. Not having the gold mine income is probably a big part of it too. The emirs are making us pay a lot more land maintenance modifier temporarily. Instead of discount, we're getting a penalty. Let's 
Supposed to be improving with these two. Bum, bum, bum. Annex in 72. Once we get them annexed, I think that uh, we'll be ready to move into other things. This music's cool. I feel like it takes absolutely forever to move troops around in Africa. Is Africa, like, big or something? <laughs> Seems like it might be big. How are you not loyal? Sure. Um, it's quite big. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I kind of, I kind of knew that it was more of a joke, but yeah. It is quite big. It's like probably the second biggest, right? Behind Asia. We've completed the thing. Local missionary strength minus five for a long time. 1501, 30 years. It'll be a little bit tricky to get it fixed, but can you do? Have our transport fleet get over to here. We are over the force limit, costing one gold a month. We have enough to build a flagship. Let's get our flagship started. Jimmy's bucket o ducats. Trade power, movement speed. We're not likely to privateer from this location, so we will take monthly chance for Admiral Skillgate. Seems fine. <laughs> Is vassals breaking royal marriage is a new thing? No, nope. they've been doing it for a long time. If they become disloyal, they'll break it. For some reason, they don't have to lose stability to do it, but at least I don't think they do. Yeah, they still have positive stab. I always feel bad when you release a subject and they have negative prestige or negative stab because you have negative stab. It seems really dumb. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. Come on, Amir, stop being mad. Missionary is going at only 3.4 per month. Crap, did I forget to try to revoke something so we could get the enforced unity of faith thing on? I think I did. Crap, 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 crap. Like I'm slipping, making mistakes. These two are still not loyal because they're just not, but they will be eventually. I'm just gonna like speed four until we have Golden Era. I need it. I want it. That one's gonna be there. Now we're just waiting on this province. A couple more months. I never built the second fort, so Lindy is still suffering, preventing prosperity growth in the state. Maybe you should have built the fort not there so it would protect Zanzibar's prosperity too, but I didn't. You could hurt your trade income by switching on Embargo Rival on Vassals. You get more trade power from them not switching this option on. You could hurt your trade income. Well, first off, Gerg Gerghal, I can't turn it on because I don't have any possible rivals. But if I could, you could hurt your trade income by switching on Embargo Rivals. You get more trade power by not switching this option on. That part's just not true. When you turn on Divert Trade from subjects, you get 100% of their trade power, no matter what. Whether they're loyal or disloyal, makes no difference. In any node where you have trade power, you get 100% of their trade power. My boss is giving us 33. Melindy is not currently diverting trade, because I'm trying to get him to be loyal. Unless I'm misunderstanding you, that's the circumstance as far as I know it. Um, what... 
What else could it be that you mean? We'll scooch these two because I'm gonna integrate them. Bum, bum, bum. Ba, dum, bum. These paints a nice color, true, but they're gonna get integrated. An annex in November of next year. Eating them both to 190. Bum, bum, bum. Don't think it costs the embargo and that lowers trade income. No. No, actually, uh, we, we discovered that when I was playing in the Jimmy Land campaign. I was surprised to notice that when we were part of a trade league, the trade league leader was doing embargoes on his rivals, and it was automatically making the trade league embargo people too. And I expected we would get a penalty, but we actually weren't. And also, when we were doing another campaign as, I think, Novgorod, you can embargo the vassals of your enemy, the vassals of your rival, and it also doesn't cost trade power efficiency. I'm pretty sure it used to in the past. Because I never, like, learned to do that as a behavior, to embargo my va my rival's vassals. But, yeah, no. And besides, th that's the other thing. Okay, just again, to make sure we're really clear. It, when, when you do have in a, a bad trade embargo, it affects your trade efficiency, which is the amount of, like, money that you make from trade income. It's the this multiplier, which has nothing to do with trade power in the node. So even if it did harm the vassal's income, it doesn't matter, because they don't have any trade income, because they're giving all of my, their trade power to me. Right? What is the best trade node to collect from outside of Europe? I would probably guess it is Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast or uh, Cape of Good Hope, because you can get basically all of India, all of Asia, all of Philippines, most of Africa. Once it gets to here, though, it's a little bit harder to ho keep hold of it because of all the provincial provincial trade power propagation from the Europeans. So sometimes it's better to stop in the Cape of Good Hope. That way, because you know how provincial trade power propagates, right? Right, Twitch chat? If you look at the, say, the Zanzibar node, and you look at the just this part, 140.9, 140.9, times 0.2, it's just 20%. That's the number that gets propagated to every stream that's up. So the ones on this side. These are down, these are up. If we go to the Gulf of Aden, and we find ourselves in the list, we hover over the tooltip, transfer some traders downstream, 29.8. And it's being slightly less than that because... Bum, 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 because, why is the math wrong? I think it might consider the five trade city and area part as part of the provincial trade power. 40.9 plus 5 times 0 0.2, 29.18. 29.8. Bum, 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 bum. Closer. Anyway, so you get 20% propagation in each node that's upstream, so... 20% goes here, 20% goes here, 20% goes here. It's not like 20% divided by 4, it's all of them get it. Go to the Gujarat node, we find Pate, we should have that same number, 29.8, etc, etc. But if you go one node beyond that, the trade power propagation that you got in Gujarat does not propagate to the next stream up, because it only propagates to the, the very next streams. So that's why, if you're trying to compete with the Europeans, instead of trying to focus in the Ivory Coast, you go to the Cape of Good Hope, because all their trade power propagation from Europe stops in the Ivory Coast, and they've got nothing in Cape. Do embargoes lower your rival's trade efficiency? Or does it lower their overall power? Costly embargoes lower trade power efficiency by 5%. Actual embargoes... Here, we'll just embargo someone, I don't care. Ajran... Here, in our home node, for example, Sakalava's got... 61 trade power. They've got this much trade power multiplier because of what their merchants are doing and their ideas and all that crap. If we embargo him, then he now has minus 33.2% embargoed by Pate, and that affects him here. Doesn't affect his trade efficiency, doesn't affect his provincial trade power, like, you know, like what the provinces themselves are supposed to generate. It just applies this multiplier here. And the amount and size of that multiplier is based on 
the control that you have in the node. Fate Embargo Sakalava, reducing their maximum power in these nodes. 3.7, 2.5, 5.5, 3.3, 3.2. So they're different because in the Zanzibar node, notice that we've got 67% control. That divided by 2 equals 33.2. So that's how much of a penalty they take. The larger our control is, the stronger our embargo is. But if you also have things like uh, trade ideas... Bum, bum, bum. Is it trade or is it espionage? It's one of the groups I take quite often. Bum, bum. Is it a policy? Oh, Jimmy. There is a frequent source of embargo strength. Is it an, it might be a government reform. It increases the power of your embargo which essentially just pretends like you have a larger share of the node. I thought it was... it was diplomatic? Make, 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 make way more sense in trade, though. Which country did I play that had it? I swear I had it not too long ago. Was it Novgorod? Is that like part of their national ideas or something? Espionage had it, and now they don't? Is that what happened? Yeah, maybe it was in, like, this area or something. Maritime. I, I just said it was one of the ideas that I take quite often, are you? <laughs> maritime? No. I hate maritime. Ship trade power propagation. Did they, uh... Did they ever fix the, the math on ship trade power propagation? I'm asking people who actually know, not guesses. It's been bugged for... Ever. Yes. Cool. Zeldoroth knows. <laughs> you could guess. Thank you for guessing. Um. We still have Diplo Rep penalty. We do. That expires in 76. Okay. Right, and so then you can see here, we have trade embargo minus five, affecting our trade efficiency. But if we look at our actual trade power, we have no penalty to it here. We do have the penalty shows up here as well, because this is where the trade income calculation is actually being done, right? Um, the last month we made 6.72. You're almost never benefiting from Bad embargoes, because of the penalty. Last month we made 6.72. Without that 5% trade efficiency penalty, it should be higher. Bum, bum, bum. See? It went up by 0.03. So much higher, wow. Do we have 100% mercantilism yet? No. We had three centers at one point. I don't have a privilege slot, and the burgers don't trend very high, so it's hard to revoke something from them. If I could revoke anything, I would revoke the Patronage of the Arts right now, so we could potentially do that kind of cheesy stuff. It would be nice to get that in, in this campaign. Melindy. Offer you knowledge. That pays us. Weird that that pays us. Like, really weird. I do want to invite a scholar, but I don't want to do it now. Golden Era? Golden Era! We did it! I can finally click buttons! Yay! Alright, we're gonna just knock this group out now. Um, prestige Decay, Innovative Escane. One more idea, we can take tech. If you're right, taking the Nobel integration policy will get rid of the annexation dip rep penalty. You sure it does it retroactively? It definitely um definitely blocks the penalty, but I don't know if it blocks it on an application or just in general. That's something Jimmy could test if Jimmy wanted to be nice. Because I am playing Iron Man. 
If there's a strong foreign power pulling your trade in the Cape, it could be worth embargoing. Those are such extreme outlier type situations, though, that I don't normally bother trying to, like... Trade is complicated enough, you know? Like... Uh... I'd really like to be running that half-price production efficiency guy right now. We need more Monarch Point generation. Hate. Hate having a small PP. In the game, Jimmy. Don't you dare quote me on that. Aruma doesn't like small PP. Group. I don't. Bum, bum. We need to be improving with him. Gotta get these guys synced up so we can integrate them both. I don't like how he's not giving me his trade power. We're close. Fetishist Zealots. Okay. Let's get some more favors into trust. Bum, bum, bum. Buha has some favors into trust we can do. Maravi. Bum, 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 bum. Don't like how we have inflation, but that's standard when you have gold income. Sakalava could, or Sofala could be upgraded more. We got six production dev. We have prosperity. No, we have no prosperity, but we do have our golden air active now. Um. Um. I think I will do some dev here. Two. Revenue capacity is fine. We'll take it to 10. We've got Kilwa at 7. We should get that to 10 also. We have already expanded infrastructure. I have not. Do it. Cool. We turn this off. Turn this off? Question mark. Soon. Insurance is at 90 something percent. Income is coming up. Numbers are good. Gained land force limit. Next conversion. Flagship soon? Soon. Move toward mysticism or lose prestige and don't. I want to do this one. We now have... Ah, shit. That's right. We lost all of our legalism when we died. I need to remember that that is a thing. When your character gets old, you might want to click the button to take advantage of the click. Why is 10 the right number? Uh, 10 is not... Uh, this is like a holdover from a long time ago. Used to be that gold mines couldn't collapse unless you went over 10 dev. Um, then they rebalanced the formula. 10 is still basically where... You know, you know how like when dev caught... When you're doing development clicks, dev goes up at a rate that increases as you get higher and higher. There is a... I'll just Google it. E4 gold depletion chance formula. Bum, 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 wiki. I want to just see the wiki page. I can explain it better. Bum, 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 bum. It's not about diminishing returns, because you do still make the same amount of money for each dev click that you do, but it does cost more diplo points and mill points or whatever else you're using to do it. And the rate that the depletion chance scales relative to the um, effective earnings. Like if you go from four, from 10 dev to 14 diplo dev, you make 40% more gold income in the province. Let's just find the formula. So here we go, Jimmy. Just, just commit this to memory. That's the formula. Okay? The discrete state matrix for period of year is this, where di is the depletion chance after the ith, ith, and depletion, given the initial state as x of zero equals blah, 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 blah. Long story short, just dev to 10, 12 at most, and stop there. Otherwise, you're probably going to lose the monarch point efficiency of the clicks. Like, 10 is relatively safe. If you hover over it, we have a 0.49% chance per year. The one way of doing the math is you just say, okay, 
If there's a 0.49% chance of the mine depleting each year, that means there's a 100% chance minus the 0.49% chance that it doesn't deplete, right? Therefore, there's a 99%, 99.51% chance at 10 dev that it won't deplete. Let's just see what are the odds that it would deplete then over the course of, say, 100 years. So we take 1 minus 0.61188869, whatever. So if you go to 10 Diplo Dev, there is a 38.8% chance that at least one time over the course of 100 years, that 0.5% will trigger. If you expound the math further and like had 12 Dev or 14 Dev, the odds of it collapsing get so much higher that I don't, you know. When I do Dev in a gold mine, basically what I'm expecting is for the next 30 to 50 years, this is the thing that's going to make us stronger. And in those 30 to 50 years, I'll get strong enough that I don't care if it collapses. It's kind of why the 10 still is the sweet spot. It's enough enough time to leverage the benefit of the gold, but not rely on it. Does that make sense, Jimmy? Of course it does, Arumba. Um, Jimmy, I'm almost done with uh, my show yeah, below deck. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to watch after. I've watched 10 seasons of the damn thing over the last year. The old man, he got sick. And it was sad. I was very sad for him. Old man captain. We can divert trade again. Um, we're probably supposed to be integrating these two already, right? Um, um, need 190, need 190. Yes, we should integrate them. Waiting on one more idea before we take tech. It's gonna be 142 for you and 121 for you. So we start this guy first. We have our rural marriages. We can't offer military access. I don't want to give them money. We only improve at one per month because we're like shitty at this. Negative 10 improve relations. I'm going to move the guy that's in the Great Lakes to here so we can run Improve Relations. I don't think this affects subjects. Um, we should be improving faster than that. Um, yeah, now we can get two per tick. We are running a Center of Reformation in this node as well. And it is converting stuff. Neat. Go, we body go. Knowledge sharing to a guy ended. Our truce is up with the Mutapa. We can go tax him again. I don't have claims on him, and neither does Muravi. So a little bit annoying. We utilized the claims from Sofala earlier. Do we have privateers in our node? We have... 2% privateers. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. I mean, we could. Could have like two ships. Even just one ship on Hunt Pirates, but I don't know that that actually matters. Let's have two do it. That should be enough ships relative to their ships to take this to 99%, 99 and then they'll leave. Or only 25%, but... Um, Marahan. Marahan is the privateer-er. Yep, I'm trying to get them to 190 so we can annex these two. The flagship, Jimmy's Bucket O' Ducats, is complete. It will go and protect trade with the rest of the fleet. I think we just squelch the pirates by having the entire fleet um, on protect trade. Use the, utilize the flagship benefit. We are over the naval force limit, and... Uh, yeah, it's costing two gold a month to be over by that much. We have way too many lights that we integrated from subjects. 
So what we should do is sell them to subjects. In fact, if we sell them our transports, they'll probably keep them, and then we can just integrate them back. We want to go down to 21 lights. Would you like to buy boat? Not possible. Due to Mombasa running a deficit while having loans. I just sell four ships in one go then? Do this guy? For one ducat, ships are damaged. Well, let me guess, prices above treasury? Of course. Mombasa is running a deficit while having loans. Yeah, he's got seven troops with four force limit. What you doing, Mombasa? Kinda dumb. Alright, we're gonna annex him. He stops being dumb. And then you, I actually am gonna send a small gift to. Just so we can sync up the integrations. Improve with Buha. I think if possible, we do want to run uh, the no diplo rep integration. Let's see if this does remove it while you have it active. It's supposed to expire in 76. And it does go away. Alright, good to know. Move toward legalism, yes. Sell more ships to this guy. Actually, do I need to start integrating them? 115. Need to start them soon. Try to greet out a couple more ship sales. That basically paid for the gift that I sent him. Good, good. Benefits of Scootage. They just gained 25 opinion. They like it. Are we synced up at all? Actually, perfectly synced on accident, but also it doesn't matter because we turned the thing on. Do, 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 do. Why am I so bad at generating monarch points? Because he's got one admin point, that's why. Ugh, so bad. I'm kind of tempted to just slow down our missionary strength. We're up to 95% unity now because of the Dimmy helping out. I could like cut the speed in half, but then we could run the level Two guy that already died. Never mind. He's dead. I'm sad. Can I... also pawn off a transport? God, our monarch point generation. So bad. Even with admin focus, we're making seven points. I'm used to making like 15 overall monarch points a month minimum, and we're making, what, seven plus five plus nine? I guess that's 21. Well, I'm used to making like 70, 40, 40 70. A lot more. That's what I'm trying to say. Ajwan, do you have friends? Yes. Sakalava, do you have friends? He's allied to Mahafali. My ally, this guy, and then we can land troops over there and not have to have all our transports. That sounds good. And we, we don't have to worry about naval superiority or anything. Time for a click. Um, get crown land if we build a mosque in Ilwa. I have three whole base tacks here, and you want to build a mosque. Of course you do. Make somebody like us. Build a marketplace and so follow to gain crown land. That sounds way more reasonable. Need a second fort. Have I been doing dev clicks without having access, without having the Maliki modifier on? 
by mistake. I hope not. Okay, Moravi could get independent support now. Until he does, we can just do that. Let's consider attacking... Oh, nice. We can do a Force Vassal over there to get access to this area again. Mutapa? Should we fight Mutapa? Or should we... That Rebels. Rebels, uh... Or we can do the thing against Sokolava. I don't really need clay. I just want money. I guess we kill this guy. Bum, bum, bum. Fleet basing would cost us 0.5 gold a month. I can auto transport to this guy. Bum. This guy is like actually in our trade node, so we want to conquer this land and tax this node. We only have trade conflict right now. But that gives reduced cost for transfer trade. Eventually our subject will get a claim on us. I'm fine with this actually. I'm not planning to take the clay. Crap, I have no stab. Fine. I'm never gonna get this goddamn idea, am I? <laughs> never gonna happen. Bum, 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 bum. Steel is gold. Clay, but clay, says Jimmy. Of course he does. We want to assume control of that fort before he can do stuff. Um, our subjects can do whatever the hell they want. I would like Moravi to be helpful here. Bum, bum. He is 14-ish Liberty Desire away from being loyal. We need to improve with him again. Bane Sailors. Royal marriage from who? This guy. I mean, we're not staying friends for everybody. This is just a me using your lands so that I don't have to build as many transports type situation. So I don't like paying to be over the naval force limit. Movement speed bonus. Cool. Alright, these guys are going to all head to like over here so we can get ready to take control of that fort. Siege. I'll just leave him on no focus. Do, 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 Maravi, why aren't you loyal? Bum, bum. You wish there was a formable Madagascar nation. I don't know, they'd probably just uh, close their ports. 35%. They've only got eight troops. Let's go there and try to take control of the siege. Even if I don't get there in time, the garrison will be very small. But I would prefer to take control of it. We don't have to fight very hard. I can't actually get the subject over there because it's a trade conflict, so... Really, as soon as he's willing to just give money war reps trade power, we'll just peace out. And notice how that... Trade conflict does cut the cost of transfer trade power from 15, from 30 down to 15. I don't think it affects the cost to demand gold, which is weird because it does say, no, it says monetary reparations. Monetary reparations are supposed to be, Wait, actually what, why is the cost for transferring trade power 50%? It's 100% cost for those things, and yet it is only 15, which is half of what it should be. He can't explain that. It's just math. It's just paradox. Level 2 fort here. Capital fort that I'm still going to deal with. Immediately took his fort, cool. Detach here, stay here, go here. Don't like having inflation, but I need that idea. 
Honor point generation sucks. Just say yes, and the pain will stop. Also, give me army tradition. 0.7. We're also getting prestige out of this, which is useful for, uh... Killing babies, because our babies suck. New general. Piss off the dudes. Okay. He has five maneuver, no shock. What religion is this? We're playing as a body, we're doing one faith. One faith and the other thing. Third way. Seriously, just surrender. Thank you. Um, um. Hey, land force limit, we're just over by 10, no big deal. It's a lot of infantry. I have done a mission, uh, hear me roar. We will receive claims in several ports in the Aiden trade node region. Okay, I did it. Need to be a great power, am I a great power? I'm a great power. I'm not a great power. I'm sad. Nobody respects us. Uh, grab these ships all together. We can be over the naval, the land force limit for a month while I'm waiting to uh, sort out our stuff and things. I don't need get rid of that. I don't want a long truce. I'll just do that. Oh my god, we have a valid rival. Ajra. Sweet. Insult me. I don't have positive prestige. Of course I don't. I should probably attack him right freaking now, so that I can actually get power projection above 50 for the first time this campaign. Or what feels like the first time this campaign. Okay, we have 21 naval force limit and 28 light ships. That's too many. We should sell down to naval force limit and light ships, but we're at peace and I want to lower autonomy in our newly integrated land. We should wait one month. And we're probably going to gain a little bit of land force limit, but not that much. I'm just going to kill these seven. Probably time to turn off edicts. Missionary is still missionary-ing. Okay. Still paying for fleet basing, because I do want to attack this guy soon. Propagate religion changed? Because... Apparently the dominant religion in the body is no longer our religion again. It's irritating. Maybe I shouldn't convert the ones that the propagate religion thing can convert. Because it can take care of that automatically. In theory. Okay, uh, this whole army and this guy go to here. We're still over by two. You can die. Find a undrilled infantry. Or just combine those. And I accidentally killed too many. Whoopsie. Alright. Uh, we prefer a trade efficiency guy. Still need the, this guy. We did our embargo. Honestly, I think we just need to attack this guy before he stops being valid. Because he's gonna. You know he will. Our subjects should be loyal again. All right, Prolympic, thank you for Twitch Prime. Odd number of cab now? We have four. That's not an odd number. Sakalava gets us more, like, direct money right this second, but... Um... I just want to go do, like, humiliate money war reps, maybe take a couple provinces. 
nothing crazy. Like, take his uh, center of trade there, take Mogadishu. Is there a monument here? No. Our monument is active. We could maybe upgrade it eventually. Lower autonomy, please. Okay, my three naval force limit. So we're going to sell five light ships. I don't have a coastal subject anymore. I'll just sell them to whoever, I don't really care. Even my competitors, I just don't want to be over the force limit. Costs way too much. Marehan? God damn it, no, no, no! My PP! Okay, we don't get the 10 for declaring on rival, but we can still do humiliate. I knew it! I knew it! We can still even do show strength or. What? I can't do humiliate, but I can do show strength. Okay. Alright. Fine. This is fine. <laughs> It's so annoying, game. Stop doing that. Wealth of Africa. Uh, I did a thing. Look. Means I can't sell my ships, so I'm just gonna delete them. God, it's annoying though. Did we ever start a second fort? Still no. All right, fort the capital and fort down here. Hmm, not like we're gonna have defensive train or anything. I just kind of want to control the area. Nothing like connects all the way over there. We might get a fort from that guy. Maybe Lal touches a lot of provinces. Or why not? Got more building slots anyway. Formula K A. Thank you for your sub. Let's begin spying on the Ethiopia for siege ability. Let's cancel our bad embargo on this guy. Let's improve with the sub two subjects that we still have. Have our maneuver guy behind, pick these guys up. Game is not running well at all. I need to uh, reload. <laughs> I still don't have the third goddamn idea. There's just always something, right? The stab bump, the uh, expanded infrastructures in the gold mines, the who knows what. Did this did this mother trucker just barrage my capital with his boats? I think he just did. He actually thought he could like snipe the capital. It's brave. Half price, level three statesman. All right, yes, we can afford that. Let's do that. I like it. Don't know half price admin guy. Capture transport now over again. Well, we have 21 light ships, 23 naval force limit now. My goal is to be at 23 light ships and then have mothballed transports. I don't really need... Um, yeah, we don't want this transport in the fleet anyway, but... I really don't even need these transports anymore. I just need like one, because we got an ally on that island. I don't plan on using the transports for anything. The penalty for being over while having mothballed transports, as long as you're not over the naval force limit in light ships, it's not that big of a penalty to have an, a secondary mothballed fleet if it's not also light ships. So, 
We'll keep some. It's fine. He doesn't like that I'm going here. Well, I don't like that he doesn't like that I'm going here. So we'll kill him. We got 76% control of our node. Monster General. We'll blockade his coast. I really, really, really need to take this idea. We have too many military points again. Soon. Alright, uh... Honestly, I would rather roll two generals or do Diplo, like do some Mildev, rather than take the tech early. The Mildev doesn't do much for me. Crownland is kind of okay right now. I think we roll two generals. Infinite G. Infinite G. These are good. Not very good. There's no reason for you to be good, but just be good anyway. It would make me happy. Um, Alright. About what you should expect for a 30 tradition roll. No two sea ship leader. We should still have um, one of the newest generals lead the siege so that we can potentially pick up a trade on someone who will live longer. Ethiopia is uh, on tech 6 to our tech 4, and they've got quite a few troops. 3 3 4 2 as well. Hmm. See. We're going to want to just pile our whole army here, I think. Also tell our subjects to be supportive and give them attached targets. We have rebels to deal with. Plus, poor Buha keeps trying to like cross the expanse and get his, get his army killed. In fact, Buha, just be defensive, but don't, don't keep doing that. And Maravi, you just do whatever you want. It's fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. We're going to take tech. Soon. I just need just need a couple more points. 660. 60 more points is it. They think they can beat us. Are they right? Quite possibly, because they've got that two tech advantage. I'm not sure if this fight is worth winning, actually. We have insufficient support. We are losing. Oh no! what I get for holding holding out on taking tech from maximum monarch point efficiency and declaring a war to try to get more mac monarch points. It's fine. We've got 22,000 manpower. They'll come back. Although we aren't protected behind a fort here. Ravi's disloyal. Uha, if you're gonna... <laughs> now he's just like, well, I'm being defensive. I'm, I'm hanging out in Gogo. -Go. What do you want? <laughs> I'm defending Gogo. -Go. He's not trying to go back to his own land, but he's not going to come to our land. He's just going to stay there. That's funny. What do you think? It would be nice to reinforce a little quicker. Don't have it. You have inflation. Inflation guy is kind of appealing. Still have missionary stuff to do. Bring a couple more light infantry, regular infantry rather. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take tech, don't worry. Soon as we get this idea, we probably jump right up to tech, whatever. Half price trader. Bum, bum, bum. Would save us more money and make us more money. And I don't really need the dipple points as much as. I don't need the Diplo skill. This is just a better advisor. At this stage. Please stop occupying my stuff. I don't like that. Guess we take war taxes now?
Mystics and storytellers. Move toward Megalism. We're at 37. Let's go further. Please, idea. So close. 12 points away. We're gonna go hang out right here and maybe convince them to go through the, the land. Next month? Need another month to recover and get tech. Plus we're gonna swap to a different unit type, I think. Moving into our coastline. 334 on the 6th, we're on on the 8th. I and have tech before then, so I think we're fine with the fight. Finally! Tech cost minus 10. Great efficiency plus 10. Sailor maintenance minus 10. Ooh -ee. Military tech! For 331 points. And 368 points. They like me now. Come get some. We need to update to the new unit pips, but um, significantly stronger. Get a swap in now. Got access to four. Why do we have so many infantry types? Jam. Take the South African Warriors offensive shock pips. We don't have good shock modifiers, but whatever. Take the same here. Offensive shock. And get a recovery tick in. Supernova1934. 104 month streak. Thank you so much, man. I didn't realize we had so many of you above 100 months now. Gain autonomy in our gold mine. Gain base tax at our capital. I don't like gaining autonomy in the gold mine, but best base tax in the capital is pretty reasonable. We will. Tell him he's allowed to attach to us here. Hopefully he does, because he does have 7k troops. Ravi, you're supposed to like us. Why don't you like us? Suddenly the tide has turned and they are running. Swap in the 5 maneuver guy, see if we can catch him. Gonna get ya. We're gonna get ya. Maneuver. Good skill. And attrition reduction. Okay, we'll unoccupy everything, get our army reinforced, and go push again. This war is gonna cost a lot. We're actually losing, like, all of our manpower pool just to get three monarch points a month for a little while. And I have to get to 100 war score to do the show strength. But then we get 300 monarch points, and that kind of fixes some of the uh, whiningness I've been having about having no manpower. Or uh, monarch points, rather. Get uh, Utoki in charge. Four generals, might, assign, might as well assign them all. Coming up on the next tech, there is still innovativeness to be gained. We can take this on January the 1st or 2nd and get six innovativeness. Will we have enough points for it? Cost will be 5, 2, 3, minus 60, minus 345, divided by our growth rate of 9. It'll take us 13 months. 13 months is too many months. So no. We won't have it. You run a higher level guy. Or gain legalism. Six innovativeness though, man. I would like it. Yeah, if we finish the war sooner, that would also work. Let's see, if I ran a level two guy instead, we would be making it 10 per month for the next June, July, August. September, October, November, December, 8. It's 10, it's 3, or 34. 5, 2, 3, 60. Still not enough. We'd have to run 
I need like another 30 points, even with a level 2. I don't think we get it, sad. We'll just go for the budget tech up then. Because I, I can't I can't get the humiliate unless I do show strength. And I can't do that unless we get all the way to 100 war score. Oh, there's just like no way. Especially with Maha up there. Ethiopia has 43 reasons for white peace. You see his capital. We send the majority of the army over to here. Keep a few extra troops. Maybe we can just take his capital and get him out of the war. Zanzibar. Won't switch focus off at idea group for six innovativeness? I no, no. We're talking about losing three admin points a month to gain six innovativeness? No. I, I would go down to four admin points a month generation right now. You I mean Look how long it took just to get through the first three ideas. We're going to get 200 innovativeness no matter what. So it's it's nice to get it early if we can, but we don't need it. Sir, the rebels, they're nearly here. It's nice that we'll be able to take Diplotech soon, though. 331 points. That is quite cheap. If we get lucky, he'll unconditionally surrender as well. Kenny Moon and 84. Thank you for your sub. How's it going, man? I don't like suffering all this attrition. But hey, we have a hardy warrior. We got that going for us, which is nice. And tomorrow wants a new royal marriage. Is he going to actually be able to beat us? Oh, I think I, I sent enough troops to block him from going to fight us. Let me... Ah, he does have heavies. He has heavies. We have no leader. He has no leader, but we're fighting heavies. Two heavies, six lights, three transports. But... We make a lot of sailors and good income, so I think trying to fight him is okay. Just hope he doesn't sink the flagship. Almost did! Jimmy's bucket of ducats went down to 7%. It's uh, Rebels. Uh, they don't like what I'm doing up there. 7% chance. That 7% possible thing is... Uh, take it! Just take it! Damn. Never lucky. They're gonna pile in and they're gonna have enough. Unfortunate. Yeah, but your combat ability is kind of useful. These transports can fall. I do want the flagship to get repaired. Talented judge. Local construction cost. Or a half finally a half price admin guy. Yes, we're swapping to that. I need the points. In fact. I kind of want to take him to level 3 if we weren't reinforcing. We might be able to afford it. Keep our 5 maneuver guy in charge so that we can reinforce at full speed in enemy terrain. Get ready to hopefully force these Ethiopians out. These can die. Move towards legalism. Admin tech cost minus 10 for 25 years. 
Yes. Nice. Good. I like it. Wanting to do a Netherlands run. Anyone have a nation recommendation? People who are in the Netherlands region are generally a good idea. <laughs> you could do it as um, Frankfurt, but first you have to form the Inca. Those are the rules. The combat ability guy is a little bit better. Let's take a fight. We do have adapt. I didn't take adaptive combat train bonus. Ethiopia is the most dangerous person in the war, but. And he had rebels at one point. He is at negative 34 reasons for peace. He is annoying. Kill. Beat him. Get him. Reason. This is bad. Starting to think this war might not have been worth it. Snap decision because I'm so annoyed that I can't get my power. I can't get my PP up. <laughs> you know, like so sick of it. Europe is. Thank you for your cheer. We've actually lost more than they have because of that early, early fight. And probably because Buha is going back and forth and stuff. He, Moravi's willing to give us trade power again. Also get some more... Rust with them. Try to keep them loyal. Mm. Military points. Please stop sieging our capital. They're both at almost... I don't know. You've already been capped out. He's mad about annexed vassal. Already have royal marriage. I'm gonna have to, like, send him a gift. Get him to 190. Because right now we have plus 25 allies in war. That won't be there. It's kind of difficult to get them all the way up. Please run faster, game. We want our combat ability guy. Consolidated regiments. Ethiopia is down to 11k troops. We've got 24 enthusiasm. If I can just finish this damn army off. This is why trying to win wars with battles is dumb compared to sieges. Like, you just have to constantly, constantly fight them. That one enthusiasm. I honestly would take a white piece if he, if he would just accept. Just to make him go away. We've lost. Our PP is getting even smaller. Not enough rivals penalty. That means there's a valid rival. Let me guess. It's Ajron again. Probably. Hmm. Disappointed. Uh, worst leader is Infinite G. No, he's got combat ability. It's Utoki. We have other people with siege pips. Don't worry, I have 20k manpower. Well, I did. I didn't... S I mean, I did. This is all worth it for the Monarch points, right? It's all we care about is Monarch points. Bum, bum, bum. 
Now Ethiopia is going to retrain and then his military strength number will come back up and then we'll be far away from getting him out again. Standard. Might be able to get this uh, other guy, Mahra, out if we blockade him. Bum, 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 bum. Group the fleet up. Take Miltek with no penalty. Is occupied and besieged provinces going to be enough? Maybe. Let's try doing that. <laughs> Classic AI. Uh. Close the door. Don't want us to get in there. Let me guess. Recover manpower? Don't think you can get that one while you're at peace. Sorry, while you're at war. I like money, though. Develop Lamu. Sold. I'm going to do dev clicks. I'm going to make sure we have this on. I'm going to get our big Bertha built up as soon as we have some manpower. Let's straight up consolidate these infantry. Make space for better unit types, potentially. room for five and no manpower seriously go away ongoing battles negative 55 let me guess you got heavies no you have a leader no yes but a 2-1 we have 99 war score with a war leader, so I guess we just peace out with the war leader. All good. I don't care about our, about our truce with Mahra. Alright, this better all have been worth it. Our peepee -pee is just not as small. <laughs> not big, but it's not as small. Money. This is going to make the mirrors mad. Crap. I don't want them to be mad. Who is our valid rival? No one, of course. It was definitely Ajaran who was valid. We have a half chub. These aren't nice. We're done converting here. We'll just unity is almost back up to 100. We have positive prestige. If I yeet the baby and then we get a valid rival, then I won't be able to scornfully insult to get above 50 again. But all of a lot of this monarch point generation issue has been because we just don't have good rulers. They've just been all shit. So make a good one this time, please. Pretty please. Please. Aren't you fabricating claims? But all your claims expire. Well, whole, your whole purpose was to be a claim generator, man. Bum, bum, bum. This click is so much cheaper now with the uh, Merchant Guild's bookkeeping privilege. It's so much easier to buy down inflation than it used to be. Can we just allow the Emirs to rebel so that I can get 600 money? I don't know, it's kind of a lot. I've got, like, centers of trade upgrade and stuff. In fact, if we get to five, we can get three more power projection for a little while. Makes sense to me. We had more money. I think we... Do let the rebels 
be mad. It's just gonna be some unrest, whatever. Not very many. Ajran's blocking my army from coming home. Okay, but he'll give us access. Good. Alright, I'm getting kind of tired. It's been six hours, and uh, I had my sandwich. Well, I didn't. I still haven't actually finished my sandwich, technically. But. Can't fabricate still, really? 40. Really thought we had enough. I mean, it's not much of a sandwich. Look, it's this big. But it's kind of getting crunchy. Bread gets crunchy really fast when it's not uh, bagged up. Madagascar a priority? Not really. It would be nice to control fully the node, so that we could send our ships to an upstream node. But we're still kind of in the early established trade income situation. You know, like, we did lose some ships there. We're down to 18, we should have 22. We can also get a, another one here. Once this missionary is done. We also have quite a bit of autonomy because I've been keeping crown land between 10 and 20 percent. Suddenly the Dimmi have a lot of land. Mostly because the crown land is coming back from developing communities. Hmm. Makes them very influential. And this skills with loyalty, not the percentage of land that they own. It's not good for them to control a lot of land. We miss out on a lot of other stuff that would be better. Like the nobles having higher loyalty and stuff. See how they trend below 60 now because they've lost crown land over time? Have they really gained that much crown land just because of... this? I don't have on the thing that makes them... immune to seize land, do I? I think it's just all coming from development of communities, which I only turned on because they were trending to like 58. If I click this right now, we gain 20, pushes them to 71 is not enough to revoke something. I would love to revoke something from them. We need to conquer Congo's monument and just be able to revoke crap. Seems like maybe easier to do it that way. All right, well, we started as a one province miner. We did this. It's been six hours, session one complete. I think I'm gonna probably wrap up after the timeline's done. And we'll attack it again tomorrow. What's the plan with the other two body countries? Kill them! Kill everyone. We're gonna have to conquer the whole world, basically. Conquer vassalize, um, easily vassalize, threaten war. You should kill everyone, kill everything. We just have to. Make sure that uh, the the faster we can gain enough power to threaten the colonizers, the easier the achievement should be. We'll end up having to take colonists at some point, but if we colonize, they'll be our religion versus letting the Catholics do all the colonization, and then we've got to convert the whole new world. Kind of annoying. You can't use propagate religion on people in the Christian group. It only works on, like, Animus, Theravada, the whole Eastern religious group. Yeah, we have to conquer all of Europe. Like I said, this is the, the one more run. 
This is the last run. I'm By the time we're done with these two achievements, I am definitely going to be fed up with the U4 for a while. Because we're going to have to play until probably the 17 or 1800s and uh, deal with all of the stuff. Deal with the tariffs, deal with the... Just all of the stuff, you know? But that's okay. That's okay. It's going to be okay, Jimmy. We could definitely benefit from some more manpower right now. It's funny how the second that I turn off the thing that generates manpower, they, uh, I need manpower. That, that war, I'm, I'm not sure that war was worth it. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to lose three power projection per month, sorry, per year. So it's only going to last like two years. It's like 24 times three, 70 whatever monarch points. That was silly. We should get present on two continents soon. We need to make more money. Um, we lost our new men advisor cost discount too. They're kind of kind of more expensive. State maintenance. Missionary. This is a expensive state. Are we done converting? No, oh, almost done. Yeah. All right. Well, I need to take a break here for now. Aminar after this. Yeah. In November. <laughs> End of November, there's a, ba a major UI or a major map update happening for Aminar, and I'll definitely be checking it out then. But for now, I'm going to take a break, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for another session of Third Way One Faith. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. See you tomorrow.